Welcome to week 10 of the Taunter's Demise podcast. I'm Hillbillies on PCP. Taunter Bowl 6 champ sitting here with... <sighs> I'm Disco, Brian. <laughs> Just... I'm always Disco, Brian, unless I'm AIDS. Uh, <laughs> never won a Taunter Bowl. I'm in a very fucking dark... I'm in a darker place than your screen right now. Oh, I know, dude. And... Um, well, let me let me let me put some light on the situation. Um, it's been a big week for me. I really lucked into a win big time. Um, you think? <laughs> and um, this is this is what you're gonna have to deal with this week. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> double trouble. Uh, you, you're, oh you're, my god, the stack. Um, yes, the just stack for is the here. record. <laughs> <laughs> dude <laughs> he, brian was off camera uh, yes. this is the first yes. time seeing this yeah um, I, I literally typed into google um stroud nico collins celebration <laughs> and this is this is the first picture that came up and i was like it's perfect meanwhile you're like i don't want to put the final nail in your coffin dude yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm wonderful not- well all right I mean, I, we'll see how well this ages, Brian, but uh, we will. Well we played. Will. Well played. What can I say? Um, one thing I didn't know, because I don't I'm not into college football at all. And um, I did not realize that Stroud's from your uh, from your hometown, from Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Buckeye, dude. Um, yeah. did he it's weird. It? He was one of these guys, you know, how like when Troy Smith won the Heisman, yeah. um, he went to Baltimore, he never did in the end. He's one of these guys where it's like, is he going to be that guy or is he going to be like a real life quarterback? Because mm, mm. They're not typically known for their quarterbacks. I mean, uh, at Ohio State, they're more defense and running backs, wide receivers. Right. But a lot of their quarterbacks don't go on to the NFL. I mean, it, yeah. Or just yeah. if they do, they kind of fizzle out. I mean, Joe Burrow transferred from Ohio State to LSU. Yeah. It's a little different story, but yeah. So anyway, yeah. We'll get into trade time and talk about the stack you got going for here. Sure, but for sure. yeah, did, well played. Did, did Stroud, did he dominate at Ohio State or was he just no, yeah, you know, he played he played awesome, dude. Yeah, sure. no. I mean he had great talent around him, like the Garrett Wilsons of the world and yes. and uh Marvin Harrison Jr. and all these guys. So yeah, I mean they always have excellent talent in the skill position so yeah so he had a lot to work with yeah a lot to work with uh, they got fucking hosed in that uh what was it clemson game or whatever i mean they should have won the national title like the year that he was like starting oh wow yeah yeah, yeah no he's nice. he's pretty good sweet well um my uh unfinished my first piece of unfinished business is actually for you it's going out to you and um it's an apology and uh, the apology Ooh. is that i really wish that i had been here for you last week um when you were riding high on that horse <laughs> you know 240 points or whatever it was best score of the year you know you're on cloud nine and I was selfish. I want to watch the Steelers. And really, does anybody want to watch the Steelers? Not really. I mean, they're not they're not a team that's fun to watch. And uh they get it done, kind of. But uh <laughs> I probably I probably would have had more fun hearing you gloat about your 240. Honestly, you know, you might not have heard me gloat as much as you think, Brian. Um yeah. and well, first of all, uh, um yeah, I, I I did find it interesting the week that you got spanked, <laughs> dude. That's just a coincidence. It's a total coincidence. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you didn't even show up, dude. <laughs> you got beat by a hundred or something, and like it wasn't quite that bad, but <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a weird coincidence. I, 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 I lost the so knockout. You you went from yeah. first to third and all this shit. <laughs> but you know, whatever <laughs> it is, what it is, as people love to say. Uh, no, dude, I. Honestly, and this is going to yeah. sound weird, I didn't even watch the review. You know you why? Didn't watch, you didn't watch it last week from, from Craig? No, not yeah. from 101, because, for, well, to kind of to prove a point, like, fuck you, Craig. You know? <laughs> you don't own me. You don't get to talk. Silent, me silent to protest, it. yeah. But, and honestly, I fell asleep at halftime for the Detroit game. I didn't even see Gibbs' touchdown until I watched replay the next morning. Cause, oh, wow. 
He's dude, a, when you're all the way in a bay, dude, I, I just didn't give a fuck. I know my team can go off, sure, but yeah. they don't enough. They're not consistent enough to keep winning. So I don't know. I was yeah. in a weird spot. Yeah. Um, actually, and well, here's the thing something that happened. So after we recorded, not last week, but the two, week before. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Fucking Maggie and me took some ecstasy and got fucking weird as shit, dude. <laughs> like after the after the recap or after the podcast? Yeah, after we did the podcast <laughs> and everything. And she got home from work and the kids were grandmas and shit. And she's like, remember that ex we still had that. And I was like, What? Dude, we freaked out on that, played some Mario Wonder, got real weird. Um <laughs> <laughs> and so like, it was like a fever dream for like a whole and then the, it, it, it followed through to my fantasy team and yeah, i kind of want to get my hands on some more but i don't want to blow out all my serotonin but it was a good time it was a good... <laughs> that's great that's i don't know great. why i brought that up but it's just like a, a weird coincidence we did that and my team was just on ecstasy yeah. all weekend it was I, mean, <laughs> I mean was it a coincidence i don't know <laughs> i don't know i you know that shit's expensive and you know christmas is coming up so <laughs> you don't want to do that too often so that was we hadn't done that together in a few years so uh just a shout out to maggie that was a fucking awesome time <laughs> unfinished dude. business with maggie i love it <laughs> yeah unfinished business for maggie is she, um, one, is she one of the viewers once in a while or when we get like 16 or 17 is she one of those viewers <laughs> Dude, if she ever saw this, we'd be over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the shit that I, I go back and watch, I'm like, God damn, dude, that's out there forever. Anybody wow. can find out. Like, my political career is over. But, yeah, right. <laughs> but, like, she must know most of the views and everything that you say on, on here in real life, right? Yeah, no, I mean, she know, I'm not full of shit yeah. ever, so, yeah, no. Yeah. It's fine, but yeah, no. When she'd be like, "You told everybody that I let you motorboat me." Every oh, that's time right. I was gonna, I was gonna say I was gonna bring yeah. that up. Yeah, you, you did bring that up just last two weeks ago. Dude, she doesn't care. I mean, we, we've been together all this time. Like, of course I motorboat her, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're built for fucking speed and and for comfort, dude. You know, it's a good time. <laughs> well, this is the best unfinished business I think it is. Ever yeah, had. no, I don't. Look, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, look, you, Brian, I, you were the, having the luckiest season I've yes. ever seen. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure. I'm not going to deny that. I mean, so, so correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, Jay, uh, Josh needed 50. Yeah, 50, might have only been 53, 50. 53, something. It was, a, it was in the low 50s, low 50s with Herbert. Correct. Garrett Wilson and yes. Grizzeg Belizeg. Yes, yes. Which and I think that would be over halftime. Dude. <laughs> Herbert scores. Their defense <laughs> is just so dominant. Herbert scores 20, 24 points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, Brian, what time? When did you go to bed? Dude, I went to bed probably about the third quarter. And I knew I had a shot. And I, and I watched the beginning of the game, and I was like, man, whenever – they got one of the Chargers got the return touchdown. I was like, that is beautiful for me. Dude, that's what dreams are made. Yeah. Of. I was like, that's exactly how we needed that game to start. And when Anthony yeah. punched one in, then punch, I don't know when he punched another one in later. I don't know when that was, but mm-hmm. he punched that second, the first one in. I said, anytime Herbert doesn't score a touchdown, it's wonderful. So, yeah, the game the game flow is perfect. Couldn't have asked. But then again, Garrett game. Wilson though, but then know, Garrett, I, you know. If worried. Garrett Wilson catches a 20-yard pass, full, it's over. gets a 40, it's over. Or full, yeah. you know, like for a touch, you, for, If you get a touchdown, it's over. Well, if a touchdown, it's over, but a 30-yard catch and a 40-yard field goal beats yeah. you, you know? It's, yeah. Thanks so you went that. to bed thinking you were going to lose, for sure. You, yeah, I went to bed thinking I had a chance, but I figured, like, there's no way they shut down Herbert for the rest of the game. So I figured he'd get, like, another 10 points. You know what I mean? Like of course, dinging dunks, like short passes, but yeah. the, Jets D, the Jets D. So shout out to the Jets D. They definitely got that win for me. How many seconds from the time you woke up was oh. it until you checked the score? I mean, fifteen like, to thirty. Yeah, yeah. immediately. It's first thing. You did. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. how can I? I'm not going to go did, to the bathroom first. I'm going to find out if I won or not. Did you wake Crystal up? Or? 
You're like, honey, I, I, you won't believe it. I beat Josh. And then I went on for like 10 minutes explaining why it was such a big deal. I went yeah, to Herbert's did. stats. <laughs> and of course, she didn't give a shit if like a good wife would. You know, right. She doesn't care. So how great Garrett Wilson was, even without Aaron Rodgers. You know, we went into the minutia of it all. Um, but yeah, it was a great feeling. I do not deserve that win. I mean, this is the second game. Come on, stop saying that. You scored a buck 80. Yeah, I mean, yeah the, I mean, the Cleveland deed took me there. Um, 58, yeah. was it? What's that? Was it somewhere around 58? It was, it was, it was. It was 57, 58, yeah. Yeah, sick. It was, sick. I mean, and that shutout was clutch. If they didn't shut them out, I, I don't win. Right. Probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, it's like that a lot. Anytime it's under 10 points, you could point to a million things. Yeah. But at the end yeah. of the day, you got the dub. Craig, Craig pointed to the fact that Taysom Hill, I guess, he threw for a touchdown. I think he, he I think he rushed a touchdown. And he's like, you know, if he doesn't get that rushing touchdown or whatever, then I lose, which is true. But you, like you said, you could like pinpoint so many different things that happen. Right. If yeah. Jordan Addison doesn't rip that ball away from Ward, then he loses. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. He doesn't go fuck himself. Exactly. That's why I don't watch a review, man. <laughs> I hate when Craig's winning, dude, because it's like he it's knows like, everything. Breeze it, to the moon and all this other bullshit. And it's like, it's dude, you, you got lucky. Yeah. He gets lucky all the time. Because I mean, you know what? He was as high on Russell. He was higher on Russell Wilson than I was last year. In fact, he took Cortland Sutton. In the third, when I took Judy, that's what the bet was all about. Because, first of all, he's such a guru that Sutton was going to outscore Judy. And, two, he told his own sister, go get go get Russ Wilson. He's going to cook all year and all this fucking bullshit. Did he, did he really? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. He ain't no wizard, dude. <laughs> he's a fucking luck sack. I don't want to hear. No, that's I, I can't. That's great. I like his reviews when he's 0 and 7 or whatever the fuck, dude. But where where he's comatose laying on the rug. Yeah. Well, in my in my last fit, piece of unfinished business is also with Maggie because she wow. respects how I feel about the season enough to know she stopped asking how's Good. the team doing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, she, she was you know the first four weeks, maybe even five, but no, nah, she hasn't asked me how the team's doing in a month, and God bless her. Yep, and she probably won't. She don't want to hear the answer. She knows the no. answer, dude. <laughs> that is, that's that's respect. Yeah, no, it's just, you know. But what's cool is we're past the point where, like, I, I beat her ass when my team loses, dude. Well, that's like, good. Yeah. That's good. That's good for her. I haven't punched her in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> which we all know is bullshit she could kick my ass but uh oh, for sure for yeah, sure absolutely but uh crystal used to beat me when the steelers lost like back when she kind of pretended to care about the steelers yeah whenever they would lose she would you know make sure that she gave me a few bruises and places that you couldn't see you know because it covered up the clothing but yeah <laughs> she she'd be, be like what do you tell her brian with two black eyes <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you done told him twice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I'm I'm grateful that she doesn't really care anymore because I mean I I deserve to get beat every week, even if the, when the Steelers win. Like right. <laughs> you my, wouldn't have a guy with glasses, would you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, Steelers, where the hell's uh, big old KB? I thought he's coming over. I don't know. Big old, I mean, big old KB, he definitely wants to get on this podcast because, you know, he's three games in a row, 200 points, sitting on top in first place. He's feeling himself, you know. He just wants to kind of get that energy, you know, that he's feeling right now to the rest of the league. So, I mean, he's going to show up, guaranteed. Yeah. Absolutely. Guaranteed. I, t- uh, I told him, I'm, I said, we'll be on at least until like 10, a little after 10. So, uh, he said, <laughs> I, full disclosure, he sent me a message today saying how something, something about uh, he was thinking about getting on the cast tonight. And then he said, um, what did he say? Oh, my God. Hold on. He said, I appreciate you uh, still making moves, you know. Like yeah. Kevin, go fuck yourself. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I don't need your pity points, right. by the way. And also, like, 
Kevin, where's my lopsided ass trade that you're talking? You want some league equality? Trade me fucking AJ Brown. True. Trade me AJ Brown for Hollywood Brown. Brown for Brown, dude, because <laughs> you want parody in this league. That's right. You Brown want Brown, Brown for Brown. I was gonna give gags. I was just gonna give him a free running back because I felt so bad. It's like, <laughs> how about you feel bad for me, fuckface? Where's my sweet ass trade? Just saying. <laughs> well, yeah, where's your sympathy trade? Yeah. I just want everybody to win. <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> funny. God. I just want everyone to tie first. Oh place. my god. <laughs> yeah, we gotta clip that at some point. And put oh it yeah, absolutely. Room. If we actually had the the ambition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna give him my second best running back for free and tell him you can give me a ninth rounder next year you know on, on a secret <laughs> handshake side because you know i just hate to see that happen to a poor bastard like he don't reach out to me and say hey man i'll give you that jet ski you want and you don't even have to give me anything in return i just feel bad no why isn't he feeling bad for me brian i don't know he should be at the <laughs> he definitely should be I mean, the number one power ranked team in the league. You think you'd be feeling bad for you right now? Uh, that, we are that, that is that is the worst of it all. Like, <laughs> it's just so stupid. Like, I mean, I have amazing luck this year. You have awful luck. Like, you should at least be five hundred, at least. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But again, dude, you I'm two out with five to go. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, um, my last piece of unfinished business is with our former league member Jay. He came down, he did a comic book show on Sunday in Pittsburgh, and he came over to watch the um, Eagles play Dallas. And uh, two things about that. One was that during the middle of the game, he's checking his phone and he's getting upset. I'm like, what's going on, man? What's going on? He's in another league. Oh, my God. And he's upset about it. I'm like, dude, if you are in another league, you shouldn't be upset about it. You should be upset about the league that you just left. Like we are the serious league. We like, go oh, some work buddies. I'm like, well, then you should you could you should care less about that league. Like, but he's like, but I got this guy and this guy. I'm like, I thought you turned a page. I thought you were out of it <laughs> completely. Um, right. And you were mentioning him before that he felt liberated. He did. Maybe he was just four and out. Yeah, know? exactly. He I think he was hiding it from me. <laughs> and uh and then i was like well you're playing for free right he's like well it's like 25 bucks but i'm like so you're playing for money and you're playing another league i just felt be- <laughs> i felt betrayed I, I, I feel betrayed <laughs> I, I just don't understand like <laughs> i don't either he's like, I, don't well, like I don't put the same amount of time into it that i did for tonto so i'm like okay i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it. you're i said if you're emotionally invested that's all that's all that matters you know? right Clearly, he's looking down at his phone like his favorite guy on Survivor just got his torch fucking snuffed out. <laughs> and then the the other part of that, the other part was that he was um I don't you probably didn't watch the Eagles Dallas game or did you like did you see the end of the game it was pretty close Dallas was threatening Eddie Lamb's fumble yeah yeah I saw that and so like there was a pretty good chance that Dallas could come back and beat him right at the very end and um bless his heart like crystal's sitting there talking trying to talk to him about business and he's just like laser focused in his TV, but he's still trying to make conversation but exactly he was trying to be he was trying to be polite he was asking questions he was trying to be and engaged you but he was just like this kitchen where i was in business and said hey the game's almost over jay's gonna be leaving soon why don't you well come yeah and visit with him i do i wanted you to and so i did i wanted you to so, you're laughing but you caused it partially well, he, said he, he said i was like hey you gonna stay after the game and he's like no nah, i'm pretty much leave when it's over and i was like i don't want crystal not hang out with him you know right so it was just funny seeing him like kind of sweat at the same time like trying to hold like a pretty serious conversation about like business i thought you were gonna say that he had cd lamb in fantasy and he got pissed when he fumbled <laughs> that'd be even, even better though Philly won the game you know that'd be even better fuck winning the game cd fumbled and cost me <laughs> oh no but it's like he uh he's feeling good about the eagles but it's like you wouldn't know it like by like watching him watch the game because Crystal's like, I've never seen that side of Jay. I didn't really like it. I don't like sports, Jay. 
<laughs> I've never seen Jay in a serious mood ever. So no, I, it, I wouldn't know. Yeah, it definitely comes out with sports, and you know, every once in a while he'll he'll blow his lid. We all do. I think we all do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, it's like you you know your hell's kitchen. You get invested emotionally, and I mean, obviously, in three months you don't care who won, but at the right. time. I remember I was watching way back in the day. It was like season three of Survivor. Yeah. With the ex-wife back in the day. And uh, it gets down towards the end and this dude gets cut. And <laughs> I remember to, like saying the words like that fucking cunt <laughs> is going to get at least second play. Like, dude, I couldn't tell you their name. I don't give a shit what they, you know what I mean? That's like so funny, but in the moment. In the moment, I, yeah, I called her a cunt, dude, and I don't say that word very lightly. <laughs> I've been saying it a lot more uh, this year than ever, so I will say that. So funny. As you can imagine, a 2-7 and seven team would do. Yeah, I would imagine. So, yeah, uh, back to what we were saying. So, yeah, I it was nice to score 240 but it's like yeah just blow your load all over the place and don't save any for next week because then we scored 104 so (laughs) yeah you barely break that single hondo that's tough uh yeah and remember before when i was saying like how do you not score 100 you must really suck (laughs) i (laughs) the bigler yeah it wasn't for Burrow getting 60 i would have been nowhere near 100 so and and gags is probably laughing (laughs) yeah that was that did, that's not going to age well. I think Craig Craig's pointed out that you Burrow accounted for like a good almost sixty percent of your score yeah. this week. You know? Yeah, no, he did. <laughs> I didn't have a single player in um, double digits aside from him. He pointed that out, and that's not going to get it done, Brian. No, you, I'm glad you didn't watch because he he tallied up like six players on your team and said that C D Lamb beat those six players alone. I mean, dude, when I got like like McCaffrey, Gibbs on a bot, I mean, my I don't know, my superstar players are all on a bot. Like, what? Yeah. What the, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What can you? I put out Royce Freeman. I put it. Did I put Zach Chardonnay in there? I think I did, dude. You like, did. You absolutely did. Which would my have kicker been, which would have been and kind only kicked extra points. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone through that, you know, in our matchups just to look at that lineup dude i knew i wasn't gonna win i didn't care that i lost i don't care if i lose the rest of the game i don't give a fuck dude that's how much i care but yeah uh but you you show up hey but you show up i show up dude goonies i'm a goonie dude i never say die and i'll keep putting a lineup out there when if i'm one in 11 and i'm trying to beat your ass every week that's right and bean will compliment you for it yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah, I really appreciate you, you know, <laughs> making moves. Still trying. Okay. I dude, I want nothing more than a fucking come back, get the sixth seed and play him third seed and fucking beat his ass, dude. <laughs> oh, if I had one Christmas wish for this year, it would be to make this playoffs and yeah. beat Kevin Bean in the playoffs. It's like Marley. Say, and hey, Bean. hey, thanks for putting out a lineup in the playoffs. Too bad it wasn't good enough. So funny. I appreciate you trying, though. Good try. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marley and out. Rosie, they open up presents that are empty under the tree, but <laughs> <laughs> you got that amazing. They get victory. coal in their stocking, and meanwhile, <laughs> I got the trophy. And... <laughs> and you, you don't even make it to, like, you don't even win the Tonto Bowl, but you beat Bean, like, the second round. <laughs> Dude, if I won the Tonto Bowl, I, I, I would trade all my kids' Christmas presents for the Tonto Bowl. <laughs> I'd put coal in all the boxes, dude, just to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make it up to him later, That's but so yeah. funny. Like the following Christmas is gonna be amazing. Exactly. <laughs> you go back to back. Well, and Rosie's a Capricorn. Her birthday is like two weeks after Christmas, dude. <laughs> right, right. Fine. So she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna cash in. <laughs> all right, hold on. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Hold on, and then I'm ready to to get into it. All right, dude. You can talk to Nico and CJ. In the meantime, uh, I was saying to Brian uh, in a message that he's chasing the dragon this week. Uh, Tampa Bay's D didn't show up. Stroud is, since he's D, is going to put Stroud to sleep. Nico may or may not have a good game. 
But, dude, you ain't getting 81 and 15 out of these guys again. I think they're going to combine for, like, 40. And uh, you're going to regret not playing Lamar Jackson. Dude, 40? 40 combined? Yeah, I'm thinking about 28 for Stroud and 12 for Nico. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely possible. But, l- listen, Lamar's been getting me. He's averaging me 30 because, I mean, they pull him from the games. Like, they're doing so well, they're just pulling him. Yeah. You know, I mean, until they play a team that's actually worthwhile, that's going to put up points against the Ravens, like, I don't know. It's tough. Hey, I know you saw that 81 and know that it's actually, it was actually like 85. I, with yeah, exactly. Finger. Exactly. It was at least 85. No, dude, dude, it was probably like more like 87 or 88 because. Did he have two binks? Yeah, no, he had a bink, but then I think he, he do they calculate the 400 or whatever it is, the 400 euro bonus or whatever? Did yeah. you already calculate that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then yeah, the only it. yeah the only thing that uh, we calculate for the league is binks, kicker kickers, and uh, you know like the defense, obviously defense or yeah. whatever, and then D, yeah, yeah. All right, I didn't know if they had all of our like bonuses. Do they have both like quarterback bonuses? They have everything. Okay, except mm-hmm. for the binks. Yeah. What did he get? Uh, plus five for four twenty five or something. Something like that, yeah. 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 Yeah, they know that. All right. So it would have been like a good 84 point something, right? 84 but, and a half. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But it is it is crazy that he broke the um the all-time rookie record. I mean, it just worked out. The game flow worked out perfect, you know. Like I don't ever expect him to get 80 some points again, but well, I mean we'll have a look at him maybe yeah, at the matchup, but Absolutely. yeah, no, there's no reason you would have put him in the lineup. No, because the the previous two weeks he was like floating around thirty. Yeah, thirty. Uh, not doing a whole lot. Um. All right, let's get this started here. Let me find my the right one here. Oh, and also the recipe for being two and seven is just yeah, get a hold of some illegal drugs, <laughs> um, kids out there. Uh, they're fun and uh, always know where the wife's Xanax is. Uh, for Sunday, dude, because you're gonna need it, and and every and that's what it is. <laughs> oh, come on, Mingo! Dude, this is actually this is a is this officially rivalry week? I think that's such a stupid thing because it's so, it's so random. If they could somehow make it so that there were actual rivalries happening and like there were actually good games, but yeah, well, the kitchen of love is one. That's um, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh. Absolutely. Well, getting gritty and Shawshank Athletics to have a long history, of course. Yeah, G- gags and dead. That's I mean, that's a pretty good rivalry right there. Yeah, Dubsy and Ed Log are not much there. Oh. Possum and uh, Jimmy. No. Hillbillies versus AIDS. I mean, that's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. It's a good. It's solid. See, what I'm doing here is just getting you so that the projections are nice and even for Sunday. And so. that's, yeah. I mean, what was he projected for? Let's see real quick. I don't know, like seven points or something. Yeah. Yeah, 7.94. So, yeah, that'll drop. I that think he's going to get five. Yeah, so take away five more. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I'm just letting you back in the game. I mean, I, I, I fully appreciate it. to be nice to you. Yeah, you can be as nice as you want, but look at them disrespect. We'll get into it when we get to our other matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm save it. I'm gonna save it. All right, let's uh, let's get into. Oh, uh, we got a lot to unpack here because we got two weeks worth of shit to talk about. That's true. Okay. That's true. So let's go into the trannies here real quick. Um, let's get into these trannies. It's Thursday night. We're getting into trannies. Okay, um, so how far do we have to? We did Taysom Hill last yeah. week and LAD. Yeah, LAD. So we can so start guess, here. All Khalil right. Shakir. And that was the only, um, I guess, competing bid here, huh? Which <laughs> there wasn't actually a, com- a competition. You want to you wanna take this? Yeah, well, it looks like Biscuit Support had already blown his load, so he had nothing to offer. Uh, KB yes. went bonkers and went for 40. So uh what do i think about this i is i don't know yeah, okay. i think Leo shakir is scrub and so i think he overpaid 
Yeah, it seems like it. Like, well, what, what's the thinking behind? I mean, maybe if Dubsy was here, he could tell us. But like, why? Why are you paying for it with Josh Allen? Uh, oh, because yeah. he because he had six for ninety two the week before. I mean, yeah. he, I mean, he put up a decent game. I mean, that's a Gabe. I mean, Gabe Dave does that, you know, a few times. He's well. He certainly outscored Gabe Dave. So I, I don't know. Uh, he 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 but, overpaid. He probably he, obviously he could he could have got it for a dollar. Sure, and the, uh, I yeah I, I I don't know. Maybe I'm not following hard enough to to know the hype about the guy. And like you said, if he was here, he could probably yeah fill us in. But he's not. But, so, but again, do we that. do we even care? No, we sure yeah, don't. We don't care. All right, and then next we've got uh, Possum Magic uh, with zero money, but yeah. always a zero dollar bid <laughs> uh, for Josh Dobbs for Minnesota. And then Gag said, "Hey, why not seventeen bucks?" Um, he needed a, he needed a quarterback desperately. He needed a QB this week, yes. I guess, because two was on a buy. So whatever. I mean, there's really not a lot to choose from out there, so. I think if he'd have waited and saw that, like, maybe, you know, Derek Carr was getting dropped, Mm -hmm. he might have grabbed him. But, yeah, I don't like it. And and then finally, uh, (laughs) Yenzer Jags thought for sure. He went to bed thinking my new kicker is Brandon McManus for five bucks. so excited. But Craig's like, I fucking love this guy. He dumped him, but he bought him back for 16 bucks. Uh yeah do i have yeah. to pick a winner here no I, I mean yeah they're all losers yeah they all suck all right let's see if there's anything worthwhile that somebody spent money on let's go back to let's see here about november 1st i guess oh we have to go to the next 25 too wow oh my god <laughs> this is what happens when, uh, when one Ryan week it's ass beat <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Here's yes. the, okay. This is what we need to talk All about. Right. Let's start where we need to start because we've got <laughs> Will <laughs> Levi's 501 Blue <laughs> Jeans for $151. Brian, please explain this to me. No one can possibly explain the logic behind this bid. I mean, <laughs> he knew, we all knew nobody was going to bid that much. Like, he could have gotten him for probably fifteen dollars. Like, no, Brian, actually, okay. he could have gotten him for one hundred and fifty dollars less than he spent. That's true. That's true. But like, even when you're going to bed, you can get him for fifteen bucks. You know, I I don't get it at all. Like he put he put up one half decent game. You know, threw a couple of touchdowns to D Hop, and I, is this just Crick saying like, is he waving the white flag with this bet? Like, I don't even get it. Like, is he, he's pulling the gags. I don't, it does not make any sense whatsoever. Do you think maybe, okay, All the only thing I could think of was he was, like, shopping in the grocery store, looking at this guy on his phone, right? <laughs> and then the couple in front of him were both wearing Levi's jeans, dude. <laughs> and they were, had their po- hands in each other's pockets. That's so funny. <laughs> yes. And, and one it, of them was wearing a Tennessee Titans jersey also. And it was a sign. Like, <laughs> He couldn't ignore it. And the number was 151 on the back because it was one of these custom guys, right? <laughs> he's, he's like, like, dude, this is meant to be. This is a sign like, from dude, God. I have $151 left. This is <laughs> <laughs> that is the most that is yes. the anti-tranny of the That's week. Right. He right? went home, he got into the hot tub, he told Sally all about it. <laughs> it's like it, it was just unbelievable. Was <laughs> Sally was divine. like, oh my god, Cosmic, you're going back to back, baby. And so <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just <laughs> and then and the funniest part about it was he promptly went out there and scored about 30 points. He did. I think he had 32 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Against the Steelers. I mean, the Steelers give up big points. I just can't. Yeah. That, I saw that and was like, what in the actual fuck is happening? That's too funny. Jet, <laughs> Jet paid $16 for Chris Boswell. Again, $16 yeah. he could have saved. He's $16 kicker. Hold on, I went the wrong way. Oh, Hold on, I, went the wrong um, way. I went the wrong way. Uh, All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Now we got 25 more to look at. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Greg Delay. That's what a kicker should cost. That's exactly like right. Three dollars. I love Minnesota it. Minnesota for a buck. That's cool. Yeah. Brandon Cooks is horrible. How? Like Michael Uncle Wilson. Lenny. So tree size. How much did he spend on that dude? <laughs> <laughs> Was it like a hundred and I mean he spent seventy five percent of his money on this yeah, guy. It was a lot. I don't people. I don't know if he ever started him. Did he ever start him? He never oh that's Maddie for twenty but no, he yeah. never started him. Maddie was like, I drafted him and I gotta have him <laughs> back. So that's what that was about. Deshaun Watson goes out and puts forty up, nothing big there. Um yeah. uh I like Ty Chandler for free with Cam Akers going down. Yeah, I think yeah, I might make not? that my favorite pickup. Why not? Yeah. Um, Doug no, I, Baker and, Mayfield. And Possum, again, he drafted him. It's You always like to go back and get a guy you drafted. So. Ed Lager, I thought, uh, would, I thought about Brady. Riley Patterson, too, um, when I was – but the funny thing was is when I was watching the Jets game yeah, and Dicker was lining up that 55-yarder, I was like, all right, dude, here's your tryout. You make this kick. Oh, I love it. I love it. You make this kick, you're coming on uh, AIDS. And, that's uh, awesome. He drained it, and that's why I picked him up. Did you text him after he made that? <laughs> Just to say welcome. No, welcome actually, no. Uh, my mom, <laughs> as you know, used to work in the Chargers front office. She got a – she got – she got me his wife's number and I texted oh, that's, her. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad that the message got to him somehow. Dude, she bounced around the AFC, dude. She worked for three teams in the AFC South. And then, of course, <laughs> in the West, she worked for the Chargers, too. So, man. But yeah, good pickup, Riley Patterson, for you. Um, he either kicks at home indoors yeah. or um, the only uh, game that you might have to worry about, but you wouldn't have to, is. Uh, they're at Chicago, I think week uh, fourteen, but hopefully that's the playoffs got locked up. So yeah, it'll be really locked. Up. It won't matter. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Last week of the season shouldn't matter. Thank yeah, you. For look, thank amazing. you for looking out for me. You really, you really looked in his entire schedule, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I sure did. I sure did. But I always look at their schedule, Brian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love guys that kick indoors. So, so. That's so funny. Anyway, yeah, I went with the dicker because my team is dicks this year, and I oh, thought nice. that. But no, he he hit his tryout kick, and uh, I I added him. Good. But yeah, I'm gonna give it to Tree Size this time. All right, Tree Size for uh, Chandler. Chandler for free. Chandler Bing. <laughs> Chandler Bing. Bing. <laughs> Did you see the meme of? Uh, well, it's uh it's got david schwimmer like coming out of a pool and it's a yes schwimmer yes and... <laughs> justin justin sent that to me oh, like, okay okay i was like you wish you made that don't you he's like yep yeah not schwimmer because man, yeah it, it yeah. was a story did anybody ever find out why how not yet i mean no. obviously he didn't just simply drown because no i mean he used to yeah. be an alcoholic but yeah. i thought it was like recovering and shit yeah, okay. I, I really, I really don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he overdosed on something, whether it was alcohol or drugs. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's too bad. Wait, what the fuck, dude? Oh my gosh, I oh. know, uh, dude, dude. Like, I just saw that. What? As well. Yeah, I just saw okay. that as well. All right, okay. ready on three. One, two, three. Trade, trade time. Trade, trade time. time. Trade, trade time. guys. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so what do we have to talk about here? I guess. All right, well, um, go ahead. Well, you can talk about the one that I did. Too high right? now. Yeah, cut yeah. that top one off. Okay, there we go. News to me. I don't want to see that. All right. Uh, in our first trade that happened, uh, was that yesterday? Uh, two Last days night? ago. Two days ago, 7.13 p.m., we got Alexander Madison uh, leaving your team, Brian, the Hillbillies on PCP, sending him over to Possum for Nico Collins. Um, strangely enough, a guy right behind you in your picture. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say this as nicely as I possibly can. Sure. Uh, first of all, I love Tree Size. I think he's a fantastic human being. He always cheers me up. Me I love hanging out with him, yep. talking to him. What in the fuck is he thinking with this trade, Brian? And here's the reason why. In what round was Nico Collins drafted, Brian? I believe the 10th. 
the tenth. And what round was Alexander Madison drafted? Uh, right? The fourth. The fourth. And uh, how's Alexander Madison playing this year, Brian? Mediocre. At best. Yeah. At best. How's Nico Collins playing this year, Brian? Um, he's had some good weeks. He's tearing it up. <laughs> he's got a bright future with a bright future yeah, quarterback. He does. Alexander Madison's absolute dog shit, and now Joshua Dobbs is a quarterback. I mean, if you can't get it done with Kirk Cousins popping the pill to Jefferson and all these other guys, what makes you think that teams aren't going to stack the got box against Josh Dobbs and Alexander Madison? I think this trade, you won this handily. I think Nico Collins has keeper value, keeper mm-hmm. potential in the ninth round next year. Alexander Madison is absolute. Do you remember this guy? for dallas his name was he was from uh correct me if i'm wrong he was from an sec team dude i don't i don't i don't know college stuff so Uh, i think he went to bama or something his name was felix jones okay all right yeah 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 he used to back up marion barber i know know the name go out there and fucking terrorize dude he'd get 12 touches seven you know for 120 and two touchies a bink yeah, And then the second they let him start, dude, he sucked dick. And yeah. that is exactly what Alexander Madison is. He is not a real-life running back. I'm he's sorry. Not. He's, he's not. not. He can catch a few balls. He might get He might get into the end zone. But his, his ceiling is probably 15 to 20 points tops on a good day. On a good day. <laughs> Nico yeah. Collins, I know for personal experience, could put 40 on you, dude. And Yeah, yeah. And so if you're talking about the trajectory of both these guys' seasons, the future for both of these guys and where they were drafted in relation to keeper value, this is hands down the fucking Larry's lead pipe lock trade of the year. Uh, You whipped. I'm sorry, Ryan. I love you, dude, but I think you got a host on this one. You think I got host? No, I'm I'm sorry, Ryan. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tree Sites. Tree yes. size, you got greased, like you know, grease lightning, dude. I, I didn't look at his entire lineup. I didn't look at his, in his entire bench or anything like that. But he said that after he looked at it, he's like, I probably wasn't keeping him anyway. So, and I, and I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to try to use Collins somehow, maybe to leverage a trade, but I'm probably not keeping him as well. But maybe I can get like a six round pick out of him or something like that. Who knows? We'll yeah, I mean, season goes. I, yeah, I I don't think that he, you know, yeah, you're probably not going to keep, if Nico Collins is one of your keepers, then you had a tough year. I get right. it. Right. But the potential to pick up a draft pick for, for somebody who yeah. doesn't have two good keepers. And and, and the, just the rest of the season, is high, sky high. Yeah. The rest of the, the upside is yeah. like you said, Madison's yeah. upside is, is it. And maybe I'm wrong, and I've been wrong all year long. But I think I really think you won this trade. Yeah, I, I think so too. Court. Just based on like actual ceiling and the actual potential. Craig said, "You're." Cr- I was not crazy, but he didn't really like the trade for me because he likes Madison because Cam Akers went down. Well, he wasn't doing much with Cam Akers out when he wasn't there, like you said with Cousins. But um, he said that now. Dobbs loves to check it down, which might be true, but I just oh don't really think... is the Spanish flame tearing it up, or James Connor or Keontae Ingram, or any of these Arizona no. running backs tearing it up? I don't think so. No, I mean, again, he's probably gonna still he's gonna probably live in that 10 to 17 point range for the rest of the season, and I'm okay giving that up for a couple like you know 30 to 40 point games, probably. Well, and especially given your wide receiver situation, yeah, like exactly. that was the yeah. absolute Achilles heel of your team. And for sure. You really for just sure. pumped them up. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't want to talk all night about it. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. we can keep yeah, talking. Yeah, you won about the trade. Okay. okay. All right, moving on. What's the next trade? Um, <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a trade, Brian, if it didn't involve fucking back to back to back to back Zach Dude, was, with this. Wait, hold on, was was my trade with Treesize the first trade without getting gritty this year? Yes, that's crazy. Oh, so it's only back to back to back yeah. Zach. Yeah, to almost back Zach because you snuck a trade in there, but yes, I did the fourth trade <laughs> for Zach. Whom it might be fucking Ed's second team, by the way. We There's don't no... know that for sure. <laughs> well, it looks like it, Brian, because <laughs> in this one, we've got Minnesota's defense 
his one dollar defense. Yeah. I think that we just saw. Yes, you're right. He just picked him up for a buck. In Gavante, I wish I was as good as Jacoby Myers Adams yeah. for Chris yeah. Olave and Bijan Robinson. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, Devontae's a big name. Let's not. Let's not. Like, uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Huge, huge name. He's having a bang in here, Brian. I just, you just gave up. I can't. I can't, dude. Yeah. I, I, why, why does Chris Olave have to be in this trade? He, he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, you could just trade a Bijan for Devontae. Bijan for Adams, and I'd be, I'd still think that Ed won the trade. Me too. Because Devontae sucks this year, dude. He had one good game. Yeah, their their offensive situation is a fucking nightmare, dude. The, uh, I mean, Devontae and Bijan are both first rounders, so there's no keeper situation here. But I'd still much rather have Bijan. Actually, Devontae is a second rounder. Is he a second rounder? Yeah, because okay. he right. had uh, Ed kept Mahomes in the first. You're pick right. Twelve, yeah. but yeah, he was round two, pick one. But yeah, but nobody's. You're not keeping Devontae first round, probably. But, uh, Dude, to give what the fuck is why does everybody hate Bijan? I don't know, dude. If I had Bijan, I would I would have him on my team. Like yeah. there's so much potential there. Yeah, I, I just that's you. That's like you trading away Jameer Gibbs and like floating him around the league a few times. Yeah, or if I traded Chase and Gibbs yeah. for like yeah. fucking Keenan Allen in a fucking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Ed wins the trade easily. Yeah. I mean, like you said, Chris Olave, nobody's really going to care about him too much, but he's still a great second player to pick up, you know, for Minnesota D that he just picked up for a dollar. Especially um, given like Ed's. Okay. And here's another thing that you have to think about because I've, Ed, I, you know, I'm not going to say what we talked about, but we talked yeah. some trade this year. Okay. Ed's in sixth at four and five. He's one of these guys I got to beat. Sure, sure. And now I look at his roster this week. He's got Mosty, DeAndre Swift on the bench, or I'm sorry, on the bye. He had zero running backs to play. He picked up Justice Hill. Why yeah. in the fuck would you give a guy Bijan Robinson when he's the guy you have to get past if you are? It's a good point. Really gritty. Point. So, and this is the first time I'm going to say this. Fucking, I want to see. Physical evidence is that Zach Dude even exists because he's yeah, we, we, bur- we want a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, dude, he fires off these trades, and then it's like, dude, Ed greased him so fucking hard this time yeah. that I, I can't, dude. You know, it's like it's week going to week ten. Everybody's kind of not paying attention. I'm gonna I'm gonna swing this trade real quick with myself. Just I'm just kidding, Ed. Or, dude, I love me some Ed. Don't get me yeah, wrong, I dude. Ed. I mean, that's nice, but I, yeah, sure. I'd like to run two teams. I'd stack one up. That's so funny. It's just so sick, dude. I, I, I don't or, know. Or, or maybe he just like is just chirping in Zach's ear nonstop about how amazing this trade is. Maybe he's just brainwashing him. I don't know. He's wearing him down. I, I've never look. The guy never has to show up and defend himself about anything he does. So yeah, he's not going to start now. I yeah, if I, I ever I, I wanted to hear getting gritty explain something, it would be this trade. Me too. I, I would. I love the fact that he's actually he's so active in terms of trades. But it'd be nice to see a a, a different sign of life. You know, just a little. Yeah, I'm about to do. I'm about to scalp the rest of his guys as soon as we finish this podcast. I'm gonna yeah. start firing off like fucking. I don't know, Jordan Mason straight hey. up for fucking Devonte. Go know. for it if you can pull it off. Go for it. I mean, well, the guy. <laughs> I know we're going. How's that Beastie Boys song? <laughs> got busy in Frisco, fooled around a Fresno, <laughs> got over on your girlie because you know she never says no. <laughs> and that's him dude he never says no he, he doesn't like, say yep. no. so well listen he's only got what two trades left so you better you better make a move if you're gonna try to brian i'm in i'm not gonna win i know I'm not gonna... i mean hey <laughs> I, I, I've sp- given, I i just let's call a spade a spade dude it's over it's but you over. could still you could still make a trade just to 
you know, possibly for uh, just for the sake of it. <laughs> Or also, yeah, maybe, well, maybe I, yeah, I could offer him Zach Chardonnay for fucking Aaron Jones to be like, look, dude, this guy's got keeper potential. Dude, dude, I'm not even kidding you. Mingo just made a catch. It's not well, really. Brian, a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Right. He is number 15. Let's see. There you go. 1.3. Oh, just refreshed. Dude, he's like a fucking 16% <laughs> of his projection now. Look out. <laughs> Dude, you ain't going to be laughing when he has 30. Yeah. Yeah, hey, second half, baby. Second half. It could happen. You know how these Thursdays go. All right. Let's get into the matchups here. Um, what do we want to do? We can't do ours for the match of the week. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's sexy enough. I wasn't thinking that, but is it not a must win for me? It is. And it is the podcaster versus podcaster. Yeah. We can do whatever the fuck we want. I say we are matchup. The week, all right. right, all right. Let's save it for the match of the yeah. weekend. Hell yeah, because I want to do it after Mingo catches that bink in the second <laughs> half. Anyway, <clears throat> they called that first one back. So, um, um, yeah, that seventy-seven yarder. Yeah, that's right. There was holding on the play. <laughs> um, God, let's see here. See with the blowout of the week. I, which one? Oh, Dub C with the blow out of the week over on the right there. Yeah, very that. possible. Or it could be the Wizard of Wimber could get the blow out of the week as well. Um, but Two yes, versus probably. four. We could do that towards the end. What if we yeah, just go from that. the bottom to the top? Okay. Sound good? Yeah, let's see. Where's KB? Because he, in case he shows up, we can kind of – we can try to save him. Okay. He, yeah, we'll skip past him. him and then – Yeah. I hope he doesn't show up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kevin. <laughs> All right. Let's get started here. Uh I'll take the first matchup of the week. We've got the dude we've been talking about for the last five minutes. Getting gritty. Zachary, if that's your name, going up against the Shaw Shank Athletics, who definitely had one robbed from him last well, three days ago on Monday night. So sick. he's four and five, under 500. He wishes he was over 500 um he's still in nice place and he's still in the thick of it he's still got a really good chance of making playoffs let's get into we got Dak going up against herbert it's hard to trust herbert with anything anymore i'm going Dak. i think that herbert's going to be in a competitive game i think Dak is not i'm going to go with herbert this time that, i mean that's fair that's fair all right i don't think Dak's gonna have to do much Receivers Thielen coming back down to earth. Kirk and Adam, the newly acquired Adams, going to be against fresh new toys. Yep, going to be against Cooper Wilson and Hopkins. Yeah, I gotta go, Josh. Uh, Kirk against San Fran. Thielen, yeah, Adams, Soft Gardner. Kirk against San Fran. Adams going against the Jets. Throw on San Fran now. Yeah. Uh, Fuck the matchups. Let's look. Yeah. Yeah, give me Josh. That's close. It's close. Yeah, it's close. They're both receivers. Groups that feels like great. a Mingo night, Brian. I don't think Thielen's going to do it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is completely... <laughs> There's no such thing as a Mingo night, Brian. <laughs> I've never heard of it until tonight. I almost hope he gets a big for you. <laughs> Seriously. Be M-I-N-G-O. <laughs> <laughs> All right, running backs. So we've got Jones playing up against the Steelers this week. Mixon going up against Barkley and Henry. Ooh, yeah. No, uh, I mean, give me, give me Josh again. Yeah, Josh again. It's hard to pick against Barkley and Henry. And then in the tight end spot, we've got Terry McBride going against Johnny Smith. I gotta oh, there's Brian. another thing, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> if Josh, yes, as he has been all right. year, You're had right. played the number one tight end in Atlanta, he yes. would have beat you. You would have beat uh, me with Johnny Smith, and that's when it Joker. really hurts. Hey, right. and that's no, hey, that's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke, dude. <laughs> like I, I don't know what he was thinking. I hate what he was thinking because Johnny yeah. was, was tearing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was rough. So. But yeah, give me Johnny, dude. Yeah, I'll take. I'm gonna take McBride. He's been doing amazing for Arizona lately. All right, in the flex, we got Chuba Hubbard going up against Jerry Judy. 
did McBride, uh, how did McBride do against Cleveland with uh, Tommy Toon, uh, quarterback last week, Let's Brian? See. Let's see how he did Let's last week. Let's see what week. he did. Uh, not oh, great. three for 22. Yeah. 5.2 but yeah he did have that 25 the week before which hurt me but yeah i guess i guess that's his only really great but that week. was back when he had dobbs as quarterback dude. true true so madison is due for about 25 this week um give me give me judy i guess uh yeah i think denver's gonna tear dominate buffalo's defense all night they're they might, be, dude. They might. I know that you have no, in, you know, you have no interest in that game. But I have zero interest in it. I think, but the <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a forty-one nothing beatdown. A couple missed field goals from Buffalo, probably. Doesn't I don't matter. know why. It doesn't matter anymore. That. You shouldn't care about that anymore. No, and so uh, yeah, passes we, away on the waiver wire. But anyway, besides, look, Jerry Judy's the reason that Craig had to suffer this draft. <laughs> I'll never pick against Jerry Judy. I love him. All right, fair. All right, we got Myers versus Greg the Leg. Give me Grizz Egg the Liz Egg, dude. Yeah, I'll take Greg the Leg as well. Ooh, all right. And then finally, we've got the Saints playing at Minnesota or Vegas at home versus the Jets. Hmm. I'd take Las Vegas, dude. I'll, I'll take anybody against the Jets. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Like, I know Dobbs is going to be in Minnesota, but they're at home. Yeah, give me give me Vegas versus the Jets. They they're awful. I mean, they I think didn't they have way more yards than the uh, Chargers this past Monday? I think they definitely had more yards, and I think that, but obviously they got crushed. Which is the well, yeah. I mean, punt return touchdown, the turnovers. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I think the Saints D is cool too but i just i zach wilson man yeah he's a he's a bum all right looks like God, dude just hit him in the numbers you fucking cunt oh sorry you still do have the game on that's good all right. <laughs> uh, he's wide open brian <laughs> overall I gotta give it to josh this week i just i feel like dude it's gonna be karma for making what i feel was it I mean I get I get what he's thinking when he's has all these running backs, but dude, he could have done mixing. Yeah. Like why would you trade Bijan, dude? Like I, I don't understand. He he probably would have taken Mixon. He probably would have taken Aaron Jones coming off his last game, dude. Like he had put up numbers. He yeah. looked like himself, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I think Josh is gonna win. Yeah, me too. And, and until Zach shows his face around here, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I mean, I know he doesn't watch this, so who gives a shit? We can yeah. talk whatever we want. <laughs> so it's like how exactly. Craig feels. All right. Speaking of shows, do this shit. Detling is probably not showing. Oh, hey, look who's showing up right now. Here comes Kevin Bean. Wait, are you both Kevin Bean then? We all, we're always both Kevin Bean. <laughs> we're always both Kevin Bean. <laughs> Cuckoo-cachoo, <laughs> baby. There he is. Dude, we, um, Bean, we are almost on to your matchups. We have, you're one away, just so you know, for matchups. Perfect timing. Great timing. Um, Wonderful timing. Bean, would you like uh, to take and this being, matchup? Being that as it may, now that Kevin's here, he, he can do the gags uh, yinzer, right? Yeah, but, but yeah, exactly. But um, Bean, do you have any unfinished business since you're just hopping in here? Yeah, first of all, no, don't, don't, uh, until I see your beautiful face, dude, you keep your mouth oh, shut. I didn't realize I wasn't on video. Pardon, pardon me, pardon me. That's You're pardoned. That. There it is. Oh, there it is. There he is. You, oh, dude, you great do look work. healthier. I think that already that fixing your heart, you look fucking good, dude. <laughs> hey, well, thank you. you. Yeah. You look happy. And yeah. can I ask you something before we like, get into the yeah man when they said to you hey kevin you want to watch your own heart surgery what was going through your mind when you were like yeah hell yeah i mean um, did you ever stop and think like i could this could be the how i die yeah what if I, they cut my artery and i the last thing i see is my own blood just <laughs> and you're like that's not good and then that's can you just walk me 
through yeah. your thought process when they ask you that question? Well, all right. So first, yes, I, I did think about the fact that I could have died without getting too deep and dark into it. So that was a weird moment in my life. Um, they didn't really give you the option of not watching. Um, it's a it's a giant television screen oh. because the physician needs to see what's going on inside. And it looks more like an ultrasound. So you're not watching okay. like video of it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so all you see is like black and white images and like a little wire moving, but you don't see like the shape of your heart or anything like that. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but they need you to be awake during it so that you, when they're like inflating the balloon and stuff, you can tell them what you're feeling. So that way if something's going wrong, they, they know, otherwise they wouldn't have any understanding of if something bad was happening. So, um, but honestly, I loved now? it. They, uh, oh, they were kind of laughing because I, I went in and they were like, uh, like, oh, I bet you're happy to be here. I was like, I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, sure." I was like, "No, no, I'm being serious." I was like, "This is great. I get to get this figured out. I hope you guys put stents in because that will mean that this is fixed." Uh, I was like, "I'm stoked. I've been looking forward to this for months." Yeah, and uh, in the actual procedure, I just found it super interesting. Like, he would explain to me what they were doing the whole way, and like, he let me ask questions. So I was like, "Oh, is that the blockage right there?" And he's like, "Yep, that's it." And I'm like, "But what about that spot?" He's like, "Yep, there's another one we just found too." He's like, "It was it was pretty cool, honestly." All right, but still, you got to imagine that not everybody is thinking the same oh, way as you. No, I'm. I'm. In the ad, here. they never heard of a sleep mask. You know. I mean, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, I'm. I'm the weird one. Uh, but the procedure itself, like, I would have that done again before I had a cavity filled. Honest to God, like it was that level of nothing. Nice. That's well, cool. listen, I'm nothing but stoked to hear that everything went well and. Uh, no, I'm really it. happy that, uh, yeah, no, it, praying, praying counts, dude. Okay, so yeah, I'm praying it, for it you, does. brother. Hey, I appreciate, I appreciate it greatly. Since we're talking about your life, we're not really talking about fantasy. But let's talk about one more question about your actual life reality. Yeah. Um, did you take the new job or did you stick with your old job? I stuck with my old job. Okay, we weren't sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, the short version is, uh, they sent me the contract and it had a bunch of bullshit in it. Yeah. Um, and I kind of called him out and said like, Hey, I, I can't sign this. You have to fix this, this, and this, if I even think about it. And, uh, they didn't, they fixed things that didn't fix the things I was concerned about and sent it back to me. It was like, all right, I haven't even started working for you yet. If this yeah. is the relationship, like, thank you. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. If you, man, I know that I was like, that was the one that was less money, right? Yeah. A little bit less, but a lot closer to home. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, You've been there a while, so it's it's nice that you don't have to make that transition, you know. So yeah, no, nah, all good. But thank you for asking. Thank all you right. for, for caring about me. I appreciate all you guys. And uh final yeah. question: How does it feel to be sitting on top first place, three two hundred point plus games in a row? Dude, so good, especially last week when I had like bench guys in and some bye week issues and i thought it was just going to be bad and nope another another couple of sexy hondas <laughs> God I love it. i've not been I in first place i can't remember the last time i was in first place i think even when i won those two championships i don't think i went into the playoff as the first like yeah. on top like i yeah. just i won from third or something like that but this late in the season, this late in the season, not since I've been back, and I've been back uh like six, seven, or eight years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm usually in like seventh place, like praying somebody loses so I can yes. sneak in. Yes, to sneak in, but now you're almost guaranteed a spot. It's funny to me because at the draft, I you were just so <laughs> you're so miserable yeah. for yeah. At least you and like Josh, yeah, seven or eight rounds. Yeah, the table of. of yeah, what was your misery. name? Yeah, yeah, table misery. Wait, he's like, by, oh, I accidentally. By the time I, uh, by the time I got it. home and really had a chance to look at like everybody's lineups, I was already like starting to feel a little bit better about my team and and not as bad. Like it's, I guess I drafted a bunch of guys I normally wouldn't have drafted, and, yeah. which maybe is why I'm doing well for a change. Yeah, um, <laughs> dude, I fucked my are, team are starting bad. round two, dude. Yeah. Mm. Hey, and, I, and I, every single week, I always think to myself, I was wrong about A.J. Brown. I was wrong. You know, you were right. I was wrong. I hate to say it, but 
He was worth no, the sixth pick. No, you were right. I mean, Dude, look, he, he's okay. earned that sixth pick. But it wasn't about that. It was about the stack with Jalen Hurts, dude. Oh, right, <laughs> like, right, 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 right. Because yeah, Nick was that's gone. Why I wanted, but that's I working mean, out well for me because uh, Allen's doing better than Hurts. So. Oh, look who's up to uh, three points now, Brian. Oh, Suck no. It. Oh, no. Three oh, yes. <laughs> A seven-yard catch is what that sounds like. A lingo at your baby. <laughs> <laughs> No, right, I, so. I, I currently have no unfinished business, Brian. Of course uh, not. No unfinished business? Nah. Good. I, 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 the, the only unfinished, unfinished business... Like, I, that's not true. You know what? It's not true. I do I do have a piece of unfinished business. There we okay. go. Um, but I'll get to it when we get to my matchup. All right. Fair enough. Oh, fair. We'll be next. All right. All right, All right dude. All right. Fire it up, Kevin. Yeah, take this one away. All right, in this next matchup, we have from Gags to Riches going up against the Yinzer Jags. Gags is sitting in 10th place, and Yinzer is sitting in 5th right now. At quarterback, we've got the newly minted quarterback in the – pardon me, wow, words are hard – in Minnesota, (laughs) Joshua Dobbs going up against also new to the lineup, Kyler Murray in Arizona. I love um, that so much. <laughs> I'm going to go, just because of the matchup, I'm going to go with Kyler Murray against Atlanta because New England's got a bit of a tough pass defense. New Orleans, Stephen. And uh, I'm going no, with New Kyler Orleans. Murray because, yeah. yes, dude. Thank dude. you. Finally. Yeah. Kyler and Murray. Then, uh, also a very plus matchup. Yeah, and, Kyler and- Murray as well. Um, and Craig on his on his review and his recap. I don't know if you watched it being or not, but he's like, How does Dentley pull this off? You know, this is like the first week he's back, but it so happens to be, you know, Jalen Hurts' is bye week. It's like, how does he plan this out? But it worked out perfectly for him. Brian, yeah. I don't want to hear those kind of bullshit comments from you, Mr. Seven and Two. <laughs> you when, nice seven and two, in you our scored heart. What? And you scored what? Brian, like you're ninth place in our heart. And yeah. so funny. That's yeah. so funny. Se- seven and two, but you scored what? Like 62 points so far? Something like that. Give or take. Give or take. Two. Again, yeah. He's having a good year. All right. A wide receiver. We've got Michael Thomas, Chris Godwin, and T. Higgins going up against Deontay Moore, Tyler Boyd, and Quentin Johnson. How is it you know Quentin Johnson's name? <laughs> Who was that? Who's that receiver yeah. for Chicago? Deontay. 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 Oh. What's his name? I thought his name was DJ. Sure. D1. <laughs> well, let's you see. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm just stumbling through life, guys. Dude, um, listen, I'm sorry. DJ Moore, no. Listen, no. He's got nine points on Tyler Boyd. Uh, do you, is T. his Higgins first not name playing? is not actually D. Can you prove to me that it's not Deontay? It could be like Deontay Juan more. Yeah. Oh, you got a point there. I can't prove it. But Maybe they I have been no calling him you. DJ Moore since, you know, his whole career. Um, so is T. Higgins not playing probably? He didn't practice. Yeah, he he's expected to miss. So let's see who he might put in there for. Oh, that is year. definitely not good. For he, me. That's not good at all. He's He doesn't have anybody. <laughs> DJ Moore's first name. <laughs> Don't is, forget a guy. DJ Moore's first name is Deniston. <laughs> did, you, did you look it up? Samsonite. That's so you were funny. way off. Deniston. Nice. <laughs> Deniston. Oh, oh, that stuff is good for your baby's <laughs> fucking diaper rash. I'd go by DJ too. Uh, I'm t- Dude, I'm I've Dylan. definitely I'm put uh, Deniston on my own button before when I had like bad diarrhea, you know, for like three days. <laughs> and uh yeah that's so funny uh, i i am also going to go with that like he has three wide receivers and gags has two so i'm going to take that <laughs> <laughs> uh, disco all right. yeah all right <laughs> all right, all right. I, I don't know you man. know from here on in i'm just making up first names all right then we got uh funny. jamie ford yes. uh, and michelle sanders going up against albert Kamara. And Kevin Walker, the third. Yeah, that was good. It's sometimes harder to like make it up when you know it. <laughs> it would be Albert and Kevin all day on that. <laughs> yeah, Albert and Kevin. Yeah, same. Kamara is just hey, a hey, hey. monster. 
in PPR. Like, can't. It's ridiculous. All right, tight end. Uh, <laughs> Brian, with the, that was pretty solid fat yeah, album. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. <laughs> Just to catch all the oh, wait till you hear it back, dude. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. At tight end, we have Keith Pitts going up against <laughs> Sean Laporta. Uh, give me Sean. <laughs> I'll take Sean Laporta, dude. Yeah. yeah I'll All take good. Sean as well. Keith is the number two tight end for Atlanta. We know that. Yeah. All right. In the flex, hopefully he plays this week. We've got Dennis and Samuel. Uh, going up against Deniston Schultz. <laughs> the uh, battle of the Denistons. The battle of the Denistons. How do you go with Deniston Samuel in this one, assuming he plays? Uh, yeah, Deniston Samuels for the win. I think I broke Bigler. I think you did too. B- Bigler's done. He's done. This, I don't. He. I don't know if he's coming back. I mean, maybe he'll be for the match of the week. I fucking cannot. Oh, my God, Kevin, you make me so happy. Oh, that's so funny. All right. And kickers, we've got Brian Aubrey uh, going up against, wow, Brian Group. Never heard of that guy. That's so funny. I don't even know who, I don't even know what his first name is. I don't think he does. Um, Dude, give me Group because I swear (laughs) – if Gagsy dude, look bench at that, is Wait, Justin that Tucker, okay. like if, if Gagsy bench is Justin Tucker one more time. <laughs> look at that. Look and, at that. <laughs> dude, Aubrey has been going on a bit of a tear, actually. No, listen, please go, please click down, scroll down, and look at Justin Tucker's. Just look at his stats for me, please. Okay, like, hold on a second. I can't, I can't, dude. When I got this douchebag from my aunt. Like, look, dude. How is he on the bench? <laughs> Tough matchup, you know. He's fucking yeah, ridiculous. He, he didn't like the he good. didn't like the cross breeze in the <laughs> in the opposing team stadium. I just thought so what the funny, fuck, dude. dude. Yeah. I, I wish Gags I would come on here dude. and explain to us why the best kicker in football's <laughs> history, not just this year, but in the history yeah. of football, is on his bench. I mean, you can't mess with Jimmy Tucker. Dude, dude, all I get is Jason Sanders <laughs> kicking like 10 extra points for his best game of the year. So funny. You didn't even kick a fucking field what's goal, it, dude. What's like, his name, get Jimmy? Fuck out of here. Did you say Jimmy Tucker? <laughs> yes, that is Jimmy. Dude, yeah, you can't mess with Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got to be playing sweet Jimmy Tucker, dude. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Um, all right, Kevin. All right. So then in defense, uh, we've got uh, Chili Def uh, going yeah. up against Cindy Def. Um, oof, oof, oof. Mm. oof. Give me that's Cindy, actually tough. Dude. I, I like uh, Brian, like dude, I said, I don't earlier, know, man. Since he's gonna know you're chasing that dragon, I, I totally Cindy's am. He's gonna put Stroud to fucking sleep, dude. Give me that one. He's not going to sleep yet. He's so going to sleep. I gotta go. I gotta go to Chicago. Yeah, I what they have seven Carolina points, Stroud. dude. Stroud is going for like 26 tops. I, was, I, I hope you're right, but I don't see it happening. He's I mean, going 13 for 39, a buck 27 is 45. Picks, okay, I I think I read on the, the lineup that Stroud is actually going for the all time quarterback passing record, period. Right, uh, because he got by next game. I, saw, I that. saw that. That was beautiful. That was a good one. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he yeah. needs like 86,000 yards yes. passing or something. I think he can do it for one. And you know why it's funny? Because it's like a meme because everybody's going nuts for the fact that he had one fluky game. Uh, wait. We'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there yeah. We'll get there. All right. I am going to take Detling for this one. I think Gags, um, he's – Looking to break that century mark, um, but I'm going to take Gags. I'm sorry, Detling. Sorry, Gags. <laughs> Detling. I got to go Detling, too. I'm going Detling. I'm sorry, Gags. I'm yeah. Gonna, you know, I, I hate to I see Gags struggle this here, much. Brother. I really do. It's, Dude, I you really would love to see Chubb and Dobbins in the yeah. every week. Yeah, but maybe Gags just needs to get back to basics. You know, get back in that kitchen, start flipping some fries. Uh, you know? Yes, the fry just cook. Get back to your roots, man. I love it. 
All right, Shit. Bigler. This this one's you, Bigler. You All gotta right. take on the, the first place team here. <laughs> All right, and then this next matchup, gentlemen, we have got none other than our world current <laughs> world champion of fantasy football this year. If the season ended today, he would be the world heavyweight champion of fantasy. The R Dubsy Hooligans at seven and two going up against my man Easy E Ed Logger in sixth place, a team that I need to keep losing. And so we said earlier that I don't want to trade with you because I don't want to help you because I want you to lose. And I'm sorry, but I still love you. And get a Bud Light Lime on me, dude. All right. Right off the bat, we've got Josh Allen. Versus no one. Playing in a game. Going up against Patrick Mahomes. Not playing in a game. And I like thus, you, Brian and Kevin. Give me Josh Allen. And thus my unfinished yeah. business. Like, come on, man. Wow, look at that. Look Make at that some bench. moves. Yeah, look at that bench, man. Like, you have to pick up people. You need a running back, I think. I mean, or he, he get that figured out. No, he, he got that figured justice. out. But, like, you need a quarterback, man. You got nobody sitting on your bench. Like, yeah. Put some yeah, effort in got, here, man. Uh, all right. <laughs> Without, like, teaching people how to play fantasy football, like, like, Craig literally just cut Derek Carr. So true, true. He's a great bi-week quarterback. Not, and so that's what's going to happen, dude. He's going to go spend money. All right. So let's just say he's going to pick up Derek Carr. Um, I'll take Josh Allen. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody he can pick up that I'm not taking Josh Allen. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I think he might act. Actually, I think he might pick up 1991 Joe Montana. That's in that so case, close. give me Ed. All right. All right and Joe then a wide receiver. <laughs> and a wide receiver, we've got for Dubsy, we've got Keenan Allen, Khalil. Yeah, Khalil. Forty dollar forty dollar yes. Shakir and Brandon. Oh, everybody's favorite Brandon. Are you going up against Mike Evans, Zay Flowers, and Chris Olave? A fresh new toy coming out the package. He just got home from Hills with his mom, and he gets uh, to open up his new toy and play with it. Um, not a Kevin, bad matchup. Why? Okay, Kevin. It, why yeah, is Khalil it, Shakur worth in, forty dollars? In Thirty seconds or less. 30 seconds of us scroll down no we know that we know that that's why but why what okay but why he's um, he's become the number two wide receiver for buffalo he's kind of jumped um in the pecking order there and he's been pulling in you know 10 15 points a game here for the past few games so he's he's a bye week filling all right. he worth forty dollars? Was he worth forty? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't. He may be miss... by the end of the season. Um, I really needed a wide. There's yeah. nothing out there that's yeah. decent for wide receivers, and I've got this week and week thirteen is brutal for me. I I just need some guys who could play. Okay, you need you got a couple holes that you need some dudes to fill. All right, 100%. all right, guys. Uh, <laughs> all that said, uh, I. Th- think i have to go with ed actually Kevin. i still ha- i Sorry. still have to be in i still think Ayuk and allen are more powerful than those three yeah you mm, that's real tough but i feel like zay flowers now oh that's a really bad matchup too it is Fuck. Zay flowers is coming off a really yeah, bad yeah on second thought you could taste them picking up targets now and all this shit plus you're playing me so you know taste them's getting weird yeah. Um, so weird. yeah, I'm gonna actually change the UKB. All right, and then in running back, we've got Gus. Please don't sleep on me, baby. Gus Edwards <laughs> and Dante Foreman going up against a fresh new toy. He just got home from Kmart, blue light special on yes. Island yes. Island, and he got himself a brand new Bijan Robinson yes. and a Justice Hill. Uh yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, how are they disrespecting Gus Edwards at 8.01 8. <laughs> at this point? Because he does. Okay, so because he doesn't do the two minute drills, he doesn't catch passes. But he that of course, 80 yard does. catch was like that, it was a, like a weird fluke. But all Baltimore, that said, uh, I still think 
What's the score? Nine to ten. Uh, give me Bijan. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be against Cleveland for Gus. I mean, he still might punch one in, but um, that's all he does. That's that's what he does. I, I'm I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going with Bijan just because I don't think that he he doesn't deserve to be traded twice in one season. I'm going with Bijan. And I think that Baltimore is going to be in a spot where they might have to throw a bit. Yeah, more. and you're gonna you're gonna throw it in my face because you're like you're you're starting to strap. But we'll get to that later. Listen, I have never once believed that these two running backs are going <laughs> to score any kind of decent <sighs> points. It just keeps happening unexplainably. Right, so right. give me Bijan. That's so funny. It's like you're like, how can I stop starting them? <laughs> Dude, you can't. Gus, Gus Edwards is outperforming a lot of teams. Like, I, yeah. I guarantee you he has way more points than, like, Tony Pollard and shit. Is oh, all yeah, he does right now. All right. And then at tight end, we've got TJ Hawkinson going up against Cole Cabant. Uh TJ, for sure. TJ. Yeah. Dobbs is going to be looking for him all day. I have TJ in a uh, best ball on DraftKings. He's, He's going to get 20 points. Me. Not that that matters, guys. And what really does matter is I – we almost had a bing from Ramondre Stevenson last week mm-hmm. uh, in London, foggy London town. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, they're in Munich, right? They're in Germany. Yeah, they're in Germans. Germany. Are they in Germany again? Okay. They were. Danke. Uh, okay, so yeah. Wait, where, where are they? No, they're in Mun- it's Munich, Germany, I think. This week? It yeah. must be. Oh, I thought it was last week. No, that they were in. That was like KC they, versus who? They, I don't know, but didn't is it? Unless they went back to Foggy London Town, I don't fucking care. Yeah, that's KC versus, versus Miami, Indy, or we got Scary Terry uh, at Seattle. Give me Scary Terry. Uh, I think Andy's D is gonna crush New England. In give me Stevenson. Z Germans. Yeah, give give me Stevenson. He's uh finally playing like he did last season for the past few games. He had one good game. Okay, and then the kicker we've got Did you check his points? He's 20 something points the past few weeks. We've got <laughs> Young Way Ku eating some soup. <laughs> no idea. What's that shit? <laughs> egg drop, egg flour soup or whatever. Egg flour, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Ku from? He's Korean though. So does he what does he eat? Anyway, I don't know. Going up against Easy E. Um, give me Ku. McPherson. Yeah, give me Ku. Q dude. Young, it feels like a you? a lot of touchdown, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of extra points for yeah. McPherson this week. Um from Jamar J. Ah, touchdown. I love it. I love it. All right. And then finally, you know, only finally, boys, we've got the New York Jets defense at Las Vegas going up against Seattle at home against Washington. Uh, you gotta love the Jets, Steve. Yeah. Dude. Give me those Jets. Same. I, t- I took the Raiders as well, but give me the Jets and the Raiders. <laughs> I mean, the Jets. The, it's, the Jets D is not the reason they lost that no, game. Not at all. It's the turn up. They turned it up. Like, how many times they turn it over in their own end and, and like special teams? Okay, that is kind of defense, but yeah. still. Forget about it. And uh, just putting this out there, uh, after this week, uh, Jeff's defense is on the track. We're going to be going to see the rest of the year. So Fuck you, no. It's too late. I needed him like uh, two weeks ago, dude. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, and finally, and only finally, I can only pick a guy that's going to get a 60 to nothing head start. Um, going, <laughs> you're on a roll, dude. Uh, going with you, KB. Yeah, I'm going with KB. I don't really care who he puts in for quarterback. Uh, I got to go with myself here as well. Yeah, I have a feeling you're going to increase your I – mean, uh, go, you're going to go 8-2. Eight, eight I think – yeah. No, it's uh, – and also, if if I am going to make a weird comeback, I need Ed Logger to lose. So, I'm, I'm sorry, Ed. I, also, I have to root against him. Yeah, for sure. All right, and then this next next matchup, we've got Biscuits and Porn sitting in 7th place. Going to make us Possum Magic sitting in 12th place. That's a tough place to be in. Bigler, you know it better than anyone else. 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. I mean, you're not there anymore. I mean, you're close, but you're not. <laughs> All right. Dude, I've only been in dead last like four weeks of the season. All I right? know. I, I, hey, I get it. I get it. And you honestly do not deserve to be there. I mean that 100%. Nah, your point total is pretty solid. Yeah. It's pretty solid. You're powerful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's look at the power rankings at the end. All right. We've got <laughs> Sam Howell playing against Seattle or Brock Purdy against the Jaguars. Give me Sam Howell. Uh, man, those matchups are against two pretty good uh, pass defenses, I think. But uh, I'm thinking Brock Purdy's going to be chugging it down in McCaffrey all, all day. And, uh, I could have said that uh, sentence for you. <laughs> I'm going with Purdy, dude. There you go. Like 20 completions to McCaffrey at least. A couple dude. TDs. Yeah. Oh, several. Yeah, I, I got to go Purdy. I mean, he, he's going to have uh, Brian Samuel back this week. And... Uh, <laughs> Good that point. dude's just a beast. I, I you got to go with him. I, I'm thinking he's going to hit McCaffrey on that screen, that 85 yard screen on the first play. <laughs> I love it. The house. All right, starting for Biscuits and Porter, we've got Jacoby Myers, uh, Jay Downs. I don't know his first name. Uh, um, Justin, Josiah, Justin. Thank you, Je- Jebediah Downs. And then again, I don't know this guy. I'm going to say Keandre Phillips. 100. percent We're going to go with that. Go against some on St. Brown. Calvin Ridley and uh, Doug Douglas. <laughs> Demario Douglas. And uh, I'm Douglas going Douglas. Tree size all day. Yep. Yeah, Ditto. 100%. True size without a doubt. I'm on say like it, but it's Ridley. easy. Yeah, super duper easy. All right. And for running backs, we got Josh Jacobs and Montgomery is back, which Bigler is not too pleased about. I wouldn't know why. Um, going up against Eckler and the newly acquired Madison. And then you get Mass and Alexander, Madison, Madison. like super tough matchup too. Again, Drew, that is a tough matchup, but he's going to be getting um, the checkdown. And obviously, it's a it's a Jameer Gibbs game, boys. I'm going with <laughs> Eckler and Madison all day. <laughs> Give me yep, Eckler and Madison. Yeah. Give me Eckler and Madison <laughs> for, sure, for sure. I know, I know the pain that is going up against Austin Eckler this year. Yeah. And in the tight end, we've got. Gregorius Kittle going against Joshua Ferguson. All right. Give me Turd Ferguson, dude. I'll take Kittle any day of the week. No, give me Ferguson against the Giants instead of Kittle against Jacksonville. Yeah, so that's, that's a good possibility. Ferguson's Plus, with, De- with Debo coming back his first game, you know how the 49 it's always a McCaffrey game, but after that, they move it around. I don't think it's going to be a Kittle game. Dude, fucking Dak loves him some Jake Ferguson. No joke, dude. Mm-hmm. He does. That's true. That's fair. All right. Javante Williams in the flex going up against Drake London. I. Oh, Denver's going to roll up Buffalo on the ground. <laughs> Anthony, yeah, uh, give me Javante. <laughs> give me Javante, but not for the same reason. <laughs> also, Javante, also not for the same reason. <laughs> All right. And for kicker, we've got Matt's Gay versus <sighs> Dustin Hopkins. Matt's Gay. Matt's Gay. Yeah, Matt's Gay. So gay. All right. And then finally, defense, we've got Detroit playing in L.A., or Pittsburgh playing at home versus Green Bay. Give me Pittsburgh. We like when it's easy, boys. Give me Pittsburgh. Uh, give me pity. All right. And who are we taking overall? I'm going tree size. One, two, three. Tree size. Yeah, give me tree. Somehow, give me tree. Look at the I lineup know. the champs happen to throw let's, out there let's right check now. It, yeah, let's check out the bench here. No Well, as play, you no can Trevor. see, just Jeff uh, Gamble so far hasn't paid off because they were supposed to come back this week, but he's not. So. He's, mm-hmm. he's got his uh, $120 quarterback sitting on the bench. $151. <laughs> $150 quarterback. He yeah. is playing. Oh, listen. And we sitting on the fucking, bench. Yeah, well, be – Dude, we carved him up. Don't yeah, you worry, Kevin. Watch that back if you want to. You can't say, you can't say anything that we didn't already say. Yeah, all right, good. good. Then I'll just let the record stand. He's got bang bang on the bench. 
fucking Levi's dude. He does have the five hundred one blues. Dude. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. The one fifty one blues. <laughs> you think they've got a, a play called the button fly? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. yes. Absolutely. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, I think we're all taking tree. Yeah. And this, it's not the nail in the coffin for um, Crick, but if just Jeff doesn't get back soon, it's, it could be lights out sooner than later. That's, a, I mean, it's another team I have to pass. So fuck him up his stupid ass. And that uh, rhymes. And you know it rhymes. It definitely rhymes. <laughs> Dude, nobody uh, wants to see you go back to back, Jimmy. I love the lineup you got out there. Keep lineups like that coming. All right, Bigler, you take this next one so that, that um, Bean can introduce our matchup. Yes, sir. All right, and then this next matchup, we got Ortho, uh, the mascot or whatever. Kevin, what was it? Orco. Orco, yeah. He's <laughs> saying, what the fuck? I can't believe I'm 7-2 uh, in the second place. It's the uh, Wizard River going up against... The other kitchen of love, a dark wing jut, five and four, trying to keep these going on the inside, looking out. Let's not waste any time. We've got Jared Goff at the Chargers going up against Deshaun Watson at Baltimore. Give me Jared Goff. Goff. Goff as well. But real quick, Bigler, um, just want to get a reaction from you about Deshaun Watson playing against you, the quarterback you took in the seventh round with one of your two seventh round picks. How did you feel about that? <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's the ceiling. 40 points. Good for him. It didn't matter. It does, you know, I got my, fucking blown out anyway, so it didn't bother me. He's a piece make, of shit. Didn't make much of a difference. Like, I look, he ain't gonna win a championship carting that dude out every week. I'll tell you no that. Way. But, no you way. know, good luck no with way. that shit at but Baltimore. I, anyway, I think he did it just to make it like, uh, hurt a little bit more. <laughs> He knew he was going to win as soon as Najee yeah. scored that touchdown. He's like, holy fuck. I mean, it's my week. Anyway. True. We're all taking uh, Enough about that, Brian. More about this. We've got the wide receiver. We've got Stephon Diggs, DK Metcalf, and Deontay Johnson. Finally <laughs> answering Craig's prayers and finally getting yes. the end zone for the first time in two years. Going up against J- Jahan Dotson, Tyler Lockett, and Tank Dell. Uh, Ooh, Tank's going to have a big game. <laughs> I was just thinking the opposite, Brian. I'm going with Craig's receivers. <laughs> I will also take Craig's receivers. Uh, I mean, but Stephon Diggs is going to go for uh, 37 points this week, so uh, I got to go, Craig. Fair. All right, uh, clean sweep That's there. Funny. And then at running back, we got Tony Pollard at home against the Giants and Rashad White going up against James Cook and Najee Harris. Lightning is not striking twice. No. No. I will take Craig in this one as well. Unfortunately, I'm taking Craig. Yeah, I got to do the same. Yeah. All right, and then at tight end, we've got me, Mark Andrews, uh, going up against Tyler Conklin. Mark Andrews. Yeah. Love it when it's easy. Andrews. Okay. Andrews. <laughs> I'm seven for seven from all of us so far. All right. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Flex, flex. In man. the flex, we've got we might have some discrepancies yeah. here, disparity. Uh we've got uh Brees Hall at, at Las Vegas going up against CD Lamb against the Giants. Uh unleash the breeze, I say. Wow. Don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him, Bigler. Sure I was. can't help it. I just the Vegas, uh, you know, the Giants, you know. Danny Dimes, and they're really that bad. Vegas is really that bad of a team. Um, and I they're think the Giants, I think Dalvin Cook gets three touches a game. Brees Hall is going to crush these guys, dude. I don't think CeeDee Lamb's going to have to do a lot, dude. I think he won't, but he'll catch at least a touchdown. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I, I got to give you CeeDee Lamb. All right. And then a kicker, we've got Brandon going up against Chris. Uh, give me Brandon. I like the man's first name a lot. Hey, give me Chris. Give me McManus. <laughs> All right, and finally, we got Baltimore at home against Cleveland, going up against Dallas, against the Giants. Okay, uh, it's not a clean sweep from me because uh, I like when it's easy. Give me Dallas. Yeah, Dallas yeah. for sure. He needs, just like Cleveland crushed last week, then they got me the win. That's Jut's probably only path to victory. Is if Dallas just destroys the Giants. 
Yeah, it's but all that's so very I took, well good. I took everybody but the defense, and uh, for those reasons, I have to pick Craig. I'll pick Craig, but I yeah. don't want. To. I don't want to either, but I'll pick Craig, and I think he keeps pace with Bean. And he's also eight and two at the end of this week. I'm tired of sharing the spotlight. Uh, yeah, three ways. <laughs> don't forget me. <laughs> what? Even What's your record? The same as you, but I'm like 150 points behind. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's the same. I'm not sure <laughs> I, if that's. Good. I know. <laughs> But it will if you win. If you lose and I win, it'll definitely feel like I I belong there. Yeah, when I drop from first to third. Yeah, in the game. That's, what, that's what happened to me. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Bigler must have gone for a potty break. We'll call it potty, sure. Yeah. But at least at least half the words correct. What'd you say? At least half the words correct. Ah, good. Some kind of some kind of break. Yeah. I'm going to get a drink as well. Uh, you can entertain the uh, the crowd, Bean. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's this guy. He's got uh, no arms. And he's real sad because he wants a job and he can't work. And one day he sees an advertisement uh, for a bell ringer. And he figures, like, yeah, I can do that. So he goes, he knocks the door. And he goes, hey, man, let me – I want to I I try out for this this bell ringer job. And the, the priest is like, man. Well, no, you don't have any arms. You know, he's like, listen, I, I didn't drag myself all the way over here, you know, if I didn't think I could do the jobs. He goes, all right. So he, they walk up 12 stories and and they get up there and he goes, well, let's see what you can do. And a and, uh, guy with no arms, he, he gets way back. It's a running start and just slams his face straight in the bell and bong, it rings real well. And uh, the priest looks at him like he's crazy, but the dude's just all smiles. He's like, see, I can do it. He's like, if you want to do it, I mean, you did a great job. I guess I, I got to give you the job. So, you know, here's this guy with no arms, just week after week after week, climbing up 12 stories and just head first, just running as fast as he can, smashing his face into the bell, bong, making the whole thing go. And, uh, you know, he just does it over and over and over again. And, uh, you know, his face is getting mashed up, but he's just thrilled that he's got a job. And then one day he's going to ring the bell and he gets this running start and he trips and instead of ringing the bell, he goes right over the edge and falls down all 12 stories to the ground, hits the pavement and just whoosh, you know, body just absolutely destroyed. And the, the villages or the town are, are over like, oh, my gosh, what happened? Like, I think it's the guy who's been ringing the bell. And I'm like, it can't be. Does, does anybody recognize him? You know, he's so mangled and everything like that. But I think his face rings a bell. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I've not heard that one. Nice. <laughs> Bigler is back at the end of the joke. I don't know if you actually heard it or not. I heard it. Uh, it was a good one. Um, yeah, no, I had That's to take funny. a fat piss and then. Uh... Yeah, I had a feeling that was that was a long walk for that joke, but I liked it. <laughs> the longer yeah. you make it, the more yes. entertaining is to tell. Yes, the longer the better. I, I enjoyed it. I, I have not heard that one before. All right, oh. now we've got the next. Is this the matchup of the week? This is the matchup of the week. Just the matchup of the week, the battle of the podcasters. Hillbillies on PCP sitting at seven and two in third place with a grand total of points of 823. <laughs> going up against Brandon, Danny Aids, Bigler. Uh, with a total score right now, I think you scored like what 1700 points uh, against like Brian's that. thousand. So, uh, let's just dive right into this. At quarterback, we have got the man, the myth, the legend, yeah. CJ Stroud, chasing those points, eyes in the sky, up against Joseph Burrow for Cincinnati, up against Houston. Uh, I think Mr. Stroud is coming back to earth. Brian, give me Burrow all day. Uh, give me Joe Cool and Brian. Can we click on CJ Stroud's uh, stats? Yes, sure. Let's do that. I, yeah, I, let's let's go ahead and have a look here. I'm so excited for this game just to watch it head to head. All, All right, right fantasy got, points. Okay, forty. We had a good run against Cindy, and then what a 36, 28, 30. Yeah, Come, he, comes he, out the bye with 30. 30, 30, 30. Oh, Tampa's uh, fourth yeah. best. Yeah. You know. Tampa's 29th in pass defense. 
<laughs> he's probably gonna shoot for that forty point kind of game. I'm gonna. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna get a solid forty to fifty points. Who knows? Maybe more. I'm gonna give it to Burrow, but I think Stroud's gonna be maybe one or two steps behind, maybe five points behind Burrow. Yeah, five points. So I'll give it to Burrow by five. Keep dreaming at, about. At wide receiver, we've got Gregarious Pickens, Michael Pittman, and Rashid Shahid mm. going up against Joe Chase, Michael Brown, and Josh Mingo. Oh. Uh, I think I win this one because Chase in Hollywood uh, with Kyler back is a blessing. And uh, mm. Mingo is already exceeded expectations. I'm gonna With I'm giving it to you as well. I think Jamar Chase pretty much wins his hands down. Pippen yeah. will probably do okay. Pickens will I mean we've got Kenny Pickett, so that doesn't really count. It's not fair. Shahid Shahid is really a bomb, but I'm still gonna give it to you just by a hair unless Shahid gets a bomb. Yeah, give me give me Chase by himself. Add in Marquise <laughs> Brown. I think it's it's gotcha. All right, at running back. We've got this, JT this good. Taylor good and Travis Etienne yeah. versus Christian McCaffrey and Mr. Gibbs. I mean, just McCaffrey alone. I mean, I, I think it's going to be tough, but I got to go with Bigler. You're wrong. You're wrong on this case. Just M- Montgomery's back. I mean, if, if he wasn't back, I'd give it to Bigler hands down. But whew, I mean, it's going to be tough because yeah, I kind of forgot yeah. about Montgomery, to be honest with you. ETN going against San Fran is going to be rough, um, but I'm not too worried about JTT going up against New England. So I'm taking my boys. Taking my no, boys. no, no. Yeah. Listen, ETN v San Francisco is a That's nightmare of a matchup. Uh, CMC, dude, and Gibbs. It's basically I, if you yeah. read about Gibbs, dude, it's it it's not going to be that heavy handed. Monty shit anymore, dude. They, I, I think if ETN was not, I think that Bill Belichick, you know, you know, he coaches them up, dude. I think think they know that I think they're going to make Minshew beat them, dude. And I don't know. I think McCaffrey's going to go fucking bonkers, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely the best running back here. Jameer Gibbs, you think he's going to get like a 70 30 split, 60 40 split? I think Jameer Gibbs goes for 150 total yards and an, at least one touchy. Okay. Yeah, because that's Chargers. a great matchup against the Chargers. If ETM wasn't going against uh, Sam Fran, yeah, I would say that's that maybe tough. you edge this out. But, yeah. but dude, CMC, no. like he, dude, he, the all monster. he does is get 30 and then sometimes 50. Like, come on, don't yeah. be weird. He's a monster. <laughs> totally I, I gotta weird. go with Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at tight end. Oh, oh you broke Thank my you. heart when you grabbed him over me, by the way, Brian. Thank you. Uh, and, also, and why I paid $40 to have my receiver. I was sick of getting outbid on stuff. Yeah, that's um, fair. Yeah, get Hill against Thomas. Hill's going up against Minnesota. Thomas mm-hmm. is at Seattle. Give me Hill all day. Uh, give, I mean, the best yeah. tight end. <laughs> He is on the Madden cover of 24, so. <laughs> From 2023 and beyond. Uh, give me Logan Thomas. All right, Taysom Hill. How is he get? here's the beautiful thing. You have no idea how Taysom Hill is going to beat you. He could beat you with his hands. He could beat you with his legs. He could beat you. So he could, He might kick a field goal this week, you know? Or it's, he might fucking see six, six snaps because they just feel like changing the game plan. You they know? might, but I don't. I don't count on it. He's going to beat uh, you in one of three ways. I, I he's been pretty consistently scoring the past few weeks. I think they want to keep him involved in the Me offense. Too. Me too. I think Logan Thomas is going nine for a buck twenty-two and two touches, dude. But Washington so. is um, bad at football, so yeah, they're not great. Yeah. All right. I mean, if they're right. watching the football team, maybe. Yeah, yeah. If they change yeah. it back to that, then maybe. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> In the flex, we've got Nico Collins going up against the newly acquired Wandell Robinson, correct? We like when it's easy, guys. Give Nico. me Nico. Yeah, give me Nico. Yeah. 
It's a good, great first name too. And then in kicker, in kicker, in the kicker position, uh, we've got Patterson going up against Dicker the kicker. Give me Dicker the kicker. Give me Dicker. Yeah. Also newly acquired Dicker. Yeah. 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 And Patterson's also new. We got rid of uh, the base, the bass. Oh, no. you're not slipping the base? Not anymore. Not anymore. I got tired of those four point base slaps. Um, <laughs> slap me in the face with Dicker. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting Brian but we love it all right in defense we've got Buffalo going up against Denver or the Indianapolis Colts going up against New England two good Buffalo. matchups oh god they're Denver and New England are both bad yeah um I mean Jimmy Buffalo Buffalo, because dude, they've been getting embarrassed lately. It's, it's Monday night at home, and if they lose to Denver at home, and yeah, and, they need yeah, a get right game, be. and they're playing against Russell Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Denver, I mean, Denver's not a total dog shit. They're not. Are you they're sure? not last year's Denver. They're not no, as they're bad not. as last. They're, year. they're better. Yeah, they're not last year. year's Denver, but they are still Denver. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. It, that's. I don't think Buffalo is going to put up like 48 or 49 like Cleveland did last week, but I still think they'll beat Indianapolis. Brian, can you do me a favor and just click on Lamar Jackson? Why not? I want to see his stats. Lately, they haven't been great. Now he's 30. Yeah. It's mainly because they haven't needed him to be great. No. And, and you know what, Bean, you probably asked me to do this because all of his points went directly to Gus Edwards. No, that's not why I did that. I legitimately – I was curious why you weren't starting Lamar Jackson because of how well Baltimore's been doing. I, was, I wanted to see what, the, what yeah, he had and, been and doing I mean, in those games. In Cleveland defense, they're pretty, they're pretty tough. But I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if he outscores Stroud, if, if maybe if, – if by chance – Cleveland goes up on Baltimore. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think like Stroud's the way to go. Jalen Waddle in my lineup. Yeah, look at that. Waddle's not in. Everett's not in. For some reason, your Giants defense not in. Why aren't you playing Everett? He, he's been playing well, hasn't he? I don't know. I think he's been doing Thomas pretty well lately. Best tight end from 2023 and beyond. Okay, well, I guess three point eight last week, so not great. Yeah, Chicago zero. Okay, never mind. No, forget that. <laughs> Just kidding. Why aren't you Garbage. playing Chevrolet? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mingo, up to five. Let's fucking go. That's all, dude. That's dude, all we needed. Dude, it's that's, over. That's his ceiling. <laughs> but dude, yeah. I don't care. That's I know it is, and that's what I, I went into this thing saying if this dude can get. Five points. I'm on crush. Go, go ahead and, and uh well for, first let's go ahead and, and pick a winner here. Uh, um, disco by a mile. Come on, Brian, don't be weird. Who? Disco. Who? Who? AIDS. Oh dude, dude you ain't beating AIDS, Brian. Especially <laughs> since you don't eat meat. This, you don't have to get That's enough so protein. If you got AIDS, you you die like Tom Hanks in Philadelphia, dude. <laughs> Night circa 1993. Oh, that's great. That's some of the best trash talk I've heard in a long time. That's good. <laughs> Honestly, you, you like cannot, I mean you just don't have the muscle. I'm sorry. When you look at Bigler's lineup, Burrow, yeah, Chase, dude. Marquise yeah. Brown, Christian McCaffrey, like yeah. I don't understand how you're two and seven. I, yeah. I no, I gotta I'm going with Bigler here. But Bigler, I have to give you credit for just like making making some moves, putting that lineup together. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kevin, that was a bit of, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh that was part of my unfinished business was that text you sent to me that said, I appreciate you still making moves, man. Like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> no, because la- no. last week, I mean, you always talk like this, but like last week you were literally like talking like you were throwing in the season. No, and I, I see what? you like picking what up things. I'm like, I was like, I love seeing you like out there. Not just phoning it in at this point, but legitimately like fuck that. I'm, I can still have a chance to slide in it there. Felt so condescending, Kevin. I'm it not it was lie. not at all meant to be condescending. It, it was right, literally fair like enough. fair. Yeah. Enough. Wait, do you hear my unfinished business? 
<laughs> All right, Disco, I'm going to make you a trade offer right now. And, All right. Um, you're probably going to laugh, but I mean, it's fine. You can laugh all you want, but I'm going to make the offer. And it, and it can even be after this week, okay? It could be right now or it could be after this week, but... Dude, unless um, you say the words sweet Trav, I don't want to hear it. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, you really would rather have sweet Trav? I mean, I was going to trade you Stroud. I mean, he's going to be a keeper for, for two more Get years. The fuck Actually, out hey, of here. three years for CJ no. Stroud. Did you know no. I picked him up? 17th round. 17th round. No. Okay. Um, sweet Trav for. I mean, what was the wait? What what would you want for CJ Stroud? I mean, let's, let's see where your mind's at. Oh, oh, dude, dude, he did you see his? Did you see his score last week? All right, after hey, Brian, do you remember when the Justin Fields put up like three good weeks? I do. Dude, and you were like, "This guy is the next coming, dude." If Jesus Christ. This came is, back to earth and he played quarterback. Yes, it would be Justin Fields. I yeah, am just and, looking forward to you getting CJ Stroud's kick out of your mouth long enough to tell out, us who you think how, should yeah, be traded for him. Yeah, no, I because if it's anything, right. dude, if it's anything more than Wandale Robinson, the answer is no. <laughs> All right, well, let's put it this way: we'll, we'll even make it a post week matchup, a post week trade. Um, after this week, after CJ Stroud beats you. More, more or less by himself. Okay. Um, okay. and you'll more or less be out of it. You could have CJ Stroud for three years for CMC. <laughs> dude, 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 three years of Stroud. Three years. You. <laughs> see, <laughs> dude, you didn't even say something. Look at all right. Let me explain something to you, dude. If you just said the words Jalen Waddle, I'd have laughed my ass off. <laughs> hey. And you did you just you went straight for it, dude. You oh, went oh. all the way. I well, mean, I, I guess I guess you know, go. You're saying go that home. I'm gonna bank my next two seasons because it's oh, not three, three years. Three, three years. No, it would be the rest of this season which oh, yeah. would, you know, essentially yeah. be over yeah. if I traded for Captain. <laughs> Are you in what, dude? Brian, CJ Stroud no. is the real deal. He is the real deal. <laughs> Holy field, dude! You guys are fucking on point. You are killing me tonight. Between <laughs> Kevin and you, I mean, you guys got some zingers. Oh man, <laughs> that is fucking funny, dude. Hey, hey, and also, like, and, okay. Like, uh, <laughs> You should he I, I I can't like trade talk and tell, but no, I know. I've gotten some <laughs> really good keepers that are way better than CJ Stroud offered to me already for, for now, much less for than CMC, dude. Is all I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, CJ Stroud and, and and Sweet Trav are my keepers next year. Like that, those are my keepers. Okay, dude. look, like I said before, unless the words. <laughs> Our sweet Trav that I don't want to talk about. That's so funny, dude. You, but in all seriousness, you have some great keepers for next year. Like dude, before you go back to the main page, yeah. Uh, I just want to remind you of the statement. I don't know why my running backs are good. I don't either. I don't ever expect them to do things that are good. But then they do shit, yeah. dude. Because you, I mean, because look, dude. If you're going to go on a magical run and win the title, dude, those things have to happen. Yeah. Because yeah. especially these days, and I was thinking about this uh, before the podcast a little bit, like fantasy football is so much harder, not because like people understand the game of football more. In right. fact, right. you don't re have to understand football. Like, I feel like I used to win at this because I've, understood football and watch football like maybe better than some of the people i played with right but now yeah. dude you can just buy a fucking app that does it for you and that's why it's so hard to win these days do I, people, do, do, people do that yeah i mean kevin how much did you pay for the your software this year 50 yeah, mm, yeah but 20? it doesn't do it for him 
No, I don't do it during the season. I don't use no, it but it I, like it evaluates, dude. It looks, it does look your like homework for you, where you evaluate the team. They evaluate what other teams need, and then they, you know, try yeah. to help you circumvent these trades and shit. Whereas you'd have to do your own legwork. I guess what I'm saying is, I think I. You, you know used to work harder than most people at fantasy and that's why i, I honestly mean, think good. the reason why it's yeah. so hard now is because of running backs like well that's actual true, nfl like, teams don't value running backs the way true. they used to that's so they true. don't use them the way that they used to yeah. so well and that's why you can get away with your gus edwards and dante foreman yeah. you yeah. know yeah. what i mean but, type shit but i that's more luck like you can't plan for that no you know like there's so few running backs backs that you can legitimately plan on being a stud every week and, well and, and like, like gus edwards dude if it wasn't for dobbins going down he'd probably be on waivers right now which for sure. to sell, for you sure. know so sure for sure yeah luck ha- injury luck has a lot to do with it but you know when it's your year it's your year so yeah. we'll see but yeah no it, when we're looking at these standings dude like these teams in front of me like no yeah i would never trade with six through well i'd trade with gags because i know he's <laughs> he's not going anywhere but like nah. i wouldn't trade with six through 12 i want these maybe i'd trade with tree size but that's 11 yeah if i'm nah. trading with anybody it's these seven and two teams because yeah like cause... i'm never gonna i'm never gonna catch them Right, but yeah, but it's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at the uh, projections. Oh, always. Oh, all right. Current oh, projections. Let's check out current projections. So far, we've got the wizard at one. <laughs> Dark again, again, again. Yeah, I'm just have run me tagging the, the rest of the season. I'm running the table again. Seven and yeah, seven. You're, dude, you're you've been running the table since week two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even an exaggeration seriously uh, unbelievable they hate i'm only they, winning they one think, more game the rest they think of the you're, going, you're going one and four i'm going uh, one and four as well both of you yeah which i think being i think you've got to win this week more or less locked up um so that means it might be your only win for the rest of the season <laughs> apparently i think craig does this craig somehow like fucks with this right because (laughs) Uh, it feels like it it definitely feels like it i i will say if there if i pull out a win in week 13 it'll be fucking magical it's so bad week 13 like that's at least one more loss Uh, can we look at the power rankings also Who, who are you playing week 13 do you know i don't even know i'm i'm playing an empty bench yes that's my problem Oh, and it's AIDS still. Oh, dude. Wizard and this is, dude, almost has you. He this almost is the has only – st- yeah. I'm almost, not even on the page. Almost, but, yeah. This is, still the only, last? this is the only stat that matters, you guys, right oh, here. Get a good look. I moved up one. Winning the championship has nothing to do with – Of course. It doesn't hold a candle to power. You, you just love seeing Dub C at 11, don't you? No, no, I love seeing and, AIDS number one at the top. And, and me at seven. We're both out of the playoffs in this power ranking. I'm never going to lose again. I love it. Of, and the then let's of. just say there's da- draft day projections. AIDS 12 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> 11 and 3. It's kind of so funny. Hey, my power ranking is actually worse than it predicted. <laughs> from like, the that is. They loved you. Look, they they knew what was up up with you, Brian. Yes, they, of course. I, I don't know what they were thinking when they were looking at me, but uh, that's funny. Yeah, and, and Eight, Netling yeah. one thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God love it. All right, well, whatever. All right, all right, boys. Any final thoughts for the week? Uh. Honestly, dude, no. I uh, I fucking hate this season, dude. What is that? It's depressing as fuck, dude. Yeah. Sunday is the worst day of the week by far. Um, I'm always working. <laughs> Every time I look at my phone on my break or something, it's 
ugly as fuck. My team's always in the red. Blows nut, dude. Uh, I don't know. For some it's reason, I really fun. like this season. I'm not, ha- dude. I'm not having fun, dude. I I think know, the dude. season's fantastic. I think it's. Uh, I don't know why. There's just something about. It. I can't put Me my too. finger on it. Me too. It's, it's but just really year. enjoying the season. Yeah, I can't imagine why you guys like the season so much. But you know, again, five games to go. A lot can happen. And uh, if you look at the, I mean. If you think about the power rankings and shit, you guys are in rough shape, both of you. It, yeah, it's too you're bad, only, that, you're it's too bad that we don't game. use the power rankings for playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, I would love, I, I mean this sincerely, I'd love, because I do believe you are getting a raw deal. I, I really would love to see you fight for that sixth position, and I hope that you're in there. Do I want to lose to you? No, but at the same time, if I have to lose to you and still beat, let's see here. Like Craig, I still have to play him later this year. If I have to beat him, that'd be great. Um, I got one more loss in me. If I have to lose anybody, I'll lose to you, Disco. Tight. I'm into it. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lay down for you. I mean, well, kind of you are because you put Stroud in. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. <laughs> I, know, I know the Bengals are looking good right now, but he's gonna keep pace. He's going to keep pace. All right. All right. Hey. Hey, I mean, he well, he's worthy of Christian McCaffrey, so obviously, right? He's exactly best quarterback of all time. Probably. Right? Exactly, <laughs> dude. I'm he's scoring eighty five every week. You're on out. every week. I'm more. I guarantee, dude. Game I, game I game. can almost guarantee you that you do not keep C.J. Stroud. Really? really? If you make, yeah, because I think you're gonna make like a probably a, a one. One move before the playoffs, That's at least. Possible, this uh, yeah. this feels possible. like a pretty solid beer bet, guys. Just putting that out there. What'd you say? This feels like a pretty solid beer bet. Just putting it out there. Yeah, it does. It does. If Brian oh, keeps be- CJ Stroud, you owe him some beer. If you don't, I mean, I can, Brian, you I can win that just to earn some beer, but would it be worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I just don't see you doing. I don't think, I don't think you're gonna, you know. Well, you might, but you, you're 16. not going to, like, mortgage your future on Brian, this guy. Dude, Brian will say that he's keeping C.J. Stroud, and night before the draft, he'd go give him the, the beer that he owes him for losing the bet. That's Brian will funny. drink the beer and then, like, 1130 yes. at night, change his keepers. Dude, when you oh, could get, great. like, Nico Collins in the ninth instead, I think you'd do it. I don't know, dude. A 16th round quarterback that's going to get me 40 points every week. I don't know. That's it's not bad. Dude, 40 points in a full PPC, dude. That, that's, well, that's this year. You, you could stream that. that Eric Carr does good. that all the time. Dude. Well, not with Taysom Hill, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, Taysom Hill might do that this week. But. That's right. That's right. That's besides the point. <laughs> you, hey, you're you're so lucky that you don't have to play Travis Kelsey. All right, you're so lucky. I I don't know, dude. Taysom's been tearing it up. But yes, but I would still never know. Kelsey's Kelsey still either. the is he the top tight end still, or did Hawkinson take him? I don't. I, I really don't. statistically, I don't know. It's probably close. Yeah, I think they're they're. <laughs> I think they're legitimately neck and neck. They probably are because Kelsey had like a really down week last week. Mm-hmm. I think he put up like four points. No, I'm just no, I'm just curious. I gotta look at it. I I kind of hope that my final thought is I hope that me, you, no, you don't, not you, Disco, uh, and Craig all win to keep this going. Mm-hmm. Keep this first. Three way first place tie going for a while, and uh, we'll all be eight and two going into week 11. I, uh, yeah, that'd be fun. I'll take it. Uh, Kelsey's got a bite. I 10 think points. you guys can both okay. suck a dick with your seven and two records. <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think I should, I should, I should be five and four. <laughs> no, I think you guys should go like have a private chat after this about how oh, good you. your fucking team is got you <laughs> you know i just i feel like uh you know you'll be there bigger you just, just kind of have to like hold a mirror up to the situation and, and see that seven and two like the two and seven that you're 
I can't. I can't. I just don't give a fuck, dude. But you're still out there making care. news, and I appreciate. Well, yeah, that. no, I'm. I'm always going to try my best to win, dude. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't. I don't believe Delling is coming tonight. Um, we waited long enough. Big surprise. Yeah. We waited, we waited over two hours. Um, yeah. I don't think he's gonna make it. All right. All right, boys. Are you Are you ready, boys? I'm always ready, Brian. Lovely. Beautiful. All right, boys. Good All luck. Right. Good Later, luck, boys. Go. Good luck, man. All right. See you next week. Later. Later.